Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to be continuing our Breath of the Wild playthrough because it's just a fun old time. I forget. Did I set a marker on you? I did not. Or don't. Nope, I did. Good, good. It's hard to tell sometimes when things are the way they are. But last time, we finished up a little bit of the, like, beginning part. Talking to Impa, we upgraded our bombs, found, like, three memories. And then made our way over here, doing shrines along the way. Because Prince Sidon calls for a Hylian to come help them in their time of need. And is apparently uh, down there on that bridge. So we're going to jump there, do that shrine. And then see what Zora's domain has to offer. Goodbye, my dear boy. What is your name? Groove. Goodbye, Groove. May you find a way down someday. Get the, the courage to leap to some level of safety. Or you could just live up there forever. I'm not one to judge. The beginning of my life. Well, oh hey. I don't think I met you before. Hi. Hello. Ooh. Oh my, how wonderful. You are a Hylian, yes? <laughs> Why would I say I'm not? Because I'm a, I'm a silly little man? Yes, I am. Ooh. Perfect, it must be my lucky day. Oh, <clears throat> I must apologize for calling out to you so suddenly. I didn't even know you were here until I was coming down to do this here shrine. I'm Torfowl of the Zora. I've been searching for a Hylian like you for a very long time. My home, Zora's domain, is in terrible danger. That is why Prince Sidon sent me in search of a strong Hylian warrior. Ah. Prince Sidon is waiting at a no-go bridge. Would you please talk to the prince and perhaps save us all? We'd be ever so grateful. <laughs> That's one way to put it. <laughs> Just save us all, please. Sure, but only after I do this here shrine. And from my YouTube chat, hello, hello. We are going to be doing a shrine before going off to save the day. Also, yeah, this is Zora's Domain. I almost forgot. This is going to be the eternal freaking rain zone. Oh, and a Twitch. Twitch chat, we're being raided. Hello, hello. Thank you for the raid. I hope your stream was fantastical as well. We're only beginning our stream. <laughs> Having to... Like, in a way, it's almost good to get Zora's Domain done first. Because then I don't have to worry about, like, climbing too much. It's not like having a lot of stamina is going to help me here. From Twitch chat, it was good. I briefly engaged with the Breath of the Wild plot, but I got better. <laughs> oh no, not a combat one! Oh, I didn't expect it to be a combat one. Alright, first things first. Well, we're going to put on our combat outfit. Let's see... We have our best shield. I'll downgrade to Guardian. Oh, and speaking of Guardian, Guardian on Guardian action. Face me, Guardian! <laughs> Oddly enough for me, last stream was the one where I just did a bunch of running around. I guess technically I engaged with the plot because I was grabbing a bunch of memories. Well, you don't seem to be too scary, I don't think. Darn. You can't get me. Well, fine. Get the smack-ins. Okay, let's see. I shall finish you off with a sickle. Darn. <laughs> One hit away from finishing off the little man. What about a bomb? Do you take guardian bomb damage? Yes, you do. I almost cheesed it! But hey, we beat him. And I can replace my guardian sword. Let's see. 
Over here, what about the shield? <laughs> Why, let's get rid of this hunter shield. We don't need that. We do not need hunter shield. We have guardian technology. Although now I, am, I wonder, like if I just walked around with the guardian technology, what normal villagers would be like, oh my god, he has a extendable magic shield. It's like, no, nah, it's actually technology. Which actually, come to think of it, is kind of interesting. Oh, Jesus, that's a good bow. You're gonna give me that good bow. That good bow is mine now. Wait, why is this a dime one? Durability up, huh? I did not know. I completely forgot that that was a thing. But once again, thank you for the raid. And hope your streamings in the future go well. Wait, I just completely forgot that, like, little durability. Like, hey, this is a special weapon. It's slightly more sturdy. It's magical. Which also reminds me of the thought process I had going on before I went, Oh my god, very good bow. Was, uh... The idea of technology, once it gets advanced to a certain point, it becomes indistinguishable from magic. So in a way, I wonder, like, what it's like in this one, this one here. How much of it is seen as magical and how much of it is seen as technology. And now we're gonna, I almost forgot, put on my sneaking stuff back on. Except we have our Breath of the Wild tunic. Because it is good. Reveals informations. Are you Prince Sidon? Up there in the tower? Say hey there, young one. I'm not young, how dare. Up top, above you. Then again, you're like a hundred years old, so who am I to judge? <laughs> Everyone's young to you. Sidon, Zora Prince. Pardon the entrance, but you're a Hylian, aren't you? Indeed I am. I was hoping perhaps you'd have a moment to talk. Hmm. Aha! A Hylian! Yes, I knew it! Oh, pardon me. <laughs> I'm Sidon, the Zora Prince! And what is your name? Go on, please tell me! I am Link. Link? Your name is Link? What a fantastic name! Hmm. hmm, though I cannot shake the feeling that I've heard it somewhere before. Well, in any case, it is a strong name. To be honest, I've been watching you, have you? I think you've said that to everybody. I've seen the way you work. I can tell you... Uh, I can tell by the way... I just... Reading is beyond my comprehension right now. The big... The word is mean. I can tell by how you carry yourself that you are no ordinary person. Link, you must be a strong warrior among the Hylians, correct? I think so. I'm like the only person that travels around alone with a armory worth an army. And from Twitch chat, hello, hello, we've met the prince. <laughs> Basically, everybody's favorite husbando alongside Cass, the Dilfrito. Yeah, I think I'm pretty good. Ah, just as I suspected. I'm a Zora Prince, after all. I have an eye for talent that is unparalleled. Yes, exquisite! I've been searching for someone like you for a long while. A man like you, Link, who carries himself with power. Right now, Zora's domain is in grave danger because of the massive rainfall coming from the divine beast Varuta. Please, promise you will help us. We need your strength, warrior. Won't you please come to Zora's domain with me? Sure thing. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> Thank you, Link. You are indeed the man I thought you were. Now Zora's domain will be safe for certain. No time to waste. Hurry up and head over. Because of the rain, the cliffs are too wet, uh, too wet to climb. To reach the domain, you will need to go straight along this path. As a Hylian, I know you're unable to swim up the river. As such, the path to the domain may be a bit treacherous. You likely have a tough fight in store. There are monsters up ahead that attack with electricity. <laughs> Don't give up! I believe in you! <laughs> oh, that's right. I have something that I would like to give you. This is just a small trinket to show that I have faith in you. Ah, useful against enemies with electrical attacks. Huzzah. 
It is a drink that will increase your resistance to electricity. I'm not sure why, but its effects do not seem to work for Zora. Perhaps because it was sp made specifically for Hylians. It should work wonders for you, though. I shall go on ahead and make sure there are, is not anything strange going on where you are headed. I'm counting on you. The thighs on that man to be able to launch him into the sky like that. Now, just hopefully, since this is artificial rain, I shouldn't have to worry about lightning. But you never, never know. Be gone, freak. <laughs> and here comes Prince Sidon, where the fandom makes the gay ship with Link, says Twi uh, <laughs> YouTube chat. Yeah, I think so. I can't recall that many other prevalent like gay ships with Link in past games. I need to be careful because if I fall and need to climb, I'm doomed. The moment I need to climb anywhere anytime, I am gonna be annihilated. Get bombed! You balloon freak! Interesting that they, like, float up to scout things out. What are you? Oh, did I blow- I blew up the frogs! Oh, that's kind of morbid. Was not expecting that. Just make sure. I saw the light. It's just a- a Zora lamppost. Hey, you there! Bomb! I sent you into the sky! Bomb! Bomb! That is the power bombs, and I'm just getting all of these arrows, what the hell? I have, like, over 50 arrows now, thank you! I appreciate it! Why is there a pot? Where'd this pot come from? Yeet. Traveler's bow, you're horrible. Traveler's sword, wait. Don't I have a quest I need for bringing... Let's see. Beyond all these EXs? I might have to dedicate a stream just to trying to track down some of these. Weapon connoisseur, find a traveler's sword. All right. What do we want to sacrifice for the traveler's sword? Hmm. Cause... I guess I'll get rid of the soldier's broadsword. Eh. Because it's like the weakest one so far. And then we can show that off to the weapon connoisseur later. Oh, uh, hello! Goodbye! Yep. Goodbye again! How dare you survive! Yep. Double be gone! With the power of bombs! Oh, hey, sign. This was domain ahead. Well, thank you. I do like that the Zoras have their own, like, architecture style. It's just nice. How dare you dodge my bomb, you fiend! But it's just a neat little thing. Just a nice little touch. How dare you be able to, like, uh, what's the word? Not pre-shot, but, like, I forget. Like, just, like, know where I'm going and track me, you balloonigans. I would jump in and grab those, but, uh, I don't want to risk drowning. What the hell is flying? I am the one who dodges. 
And you are the one who dies is... Oh, hey. A breakable. And Zap Shroom. Yep. Amusingly, I've yet to run into... Oh, you gold? You gold? What are you? What are you? We're not gonna blow you up. We're gonna smash you. Oh. I thought it was gonna be something special. I get amber out of everything. Uh, it, was a, it was shiny and special looking. I thought it was gonna be nice, but it was just meh. About the electro resistant elixir, I'll be sure to tell you when you use that when you reach enemies that can do electric damage on the road. Well, t funnily enough, I don't think I've ever used any of the, like, damage elixirs before. Uh, like, unless it's an enemy that's, like, uh, what's the word? Like, very beefy and, like, hitting me with long-range electricity? Like, maybe... Hey. Uh, I'll continue thoughts after this. Hey, Link! Sorry for calling out to you from the river. Since I pressured you into coming, I was not sure you would really come through. I am pleased things are going well. Ever since this strange occurrence, there have been a lot of monsters around here. Be careful as you proceed. And hurry! All of my fellow Zora are anxiously awaiting your arrival. Thanks, Isidon. But yeah, I think, like, the boss, not boss of the area, I think it's a Lionel. I'll probably want to use my Electroshock Elixir for that. Oh, Traveler's Bow. They give me a lot of bows. I don't need bows. But yeah, if I ever run into anything that's, like, tanky or ranged in Electro, I'll try to remember to use the elixir. Either that or I'll forget and I'll be too ingrained in the fight to look at chat to be reminded. I swear it's the Koroks trying to kill me. Because if it was a normal enemy, I'd be able to run up here and they'd be like, aha, we were expecting you. Surprise, I was expecting you. <laughs> Lizalvo Space Program. How dare you try to tail whip me? It's not even the correct damaging Pokemon move. Oh, there's like even a whole band of enemies up here. They seem to have like a decent shield in the works. Oh wait, nope, nope, nope. We don't want to be using our knight's bow. It's a good bow. We save that. Well, that was... You're far closer than I was expecting. That was far... Yeah. Die. And then he'll get up and be like, What was that? And then I'll hit him in the head again. But yeah, basically for the Electroshock Elixir, I'm not going to waste it on Electro Keys. I am not a silly fool. Why'd you see me and then run away? Ah! Trying to ambush me? Be gone! You're a freaky little man. Well, that was a failure on my part. <laughs> Fool what you are. <gasps> and is that what I think it is? It is a radish. <laughs> radish. Now the question is, uh, how good are you? You're apparently better than things. I need the Traveler's Sword for the quest, though. I can't just take a picture of it. What about this? Zora Claymores are better. It's 20 for a two-handed. Hmm. I think I'll just uh, hold on to these. You're a weird little man. It's like you run away, then you don't run away. Where'd the Hightail Lizard come from? What?
And now we'll take out this big guy before uh, returning to our regularly scheduled adventures. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. You see nothing. You are but a fool and you will die! I am being inundated with arrows. Let's see, a Lazal shield. Let's see. Are you better than this? No, you're even worse than that, so we shall not bother. But Lazal bow. Lazal bow is better than you, then we will drop you. Pick you up. Because uh, we're going to get our mileage out of this. Blah, blah, blah. Durability up one. Do some mining. And be on our way again. From YouTube chat, hello, hello. We are adventuring our way through Zora's Domain. Being attacked by rocks and attacking back. Hmm, can bombs destroy these? Why not? They should be able to. But luckily, I have fire arrows. Make way, and also go back to normal arrows. Don't want a repeat of my s of blowing myself up. Like, who would even plan this? How do you plant normal brambles with the expectation of defending your chest? And again, like, how the hell does fire destroy brambles, but... Like, how dare. Almost got gotcha. you. Well, now the whole, the whole orchestra is, oh. <laughs> how dare. Your playing was terrible. But maybe if I let them miss a lot. They'll tank the, 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 the frame rate. That and maybe leave them behind a bit for me to pick up. What if I, uh... I'll snipe you. It is impressive that they're able to... Like, I need to avoid water. No more encores. Encore bad. That was close. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Maybe that's why they were giving me so many arrows. And bows. Come to think of it. Hmm, a Lizal bow. Let me see how good a Lizal bow is. 14 versus the Fernic. Guess I'll grab another of these, because why not? The one downside of the switch, low frame rates. Luckily, I get all my arrows back. At least some of them. What? That frog committed death. Okay, I'm going to try and sneak around to get to this guy, because he's... A closer target, and therefore easier to headshot. Goodbye. Which means we can then get closer to the other one. And headshot him. Oh, hey, another hardy radish. We're gonna be making so much money! Hey, Neon, hello, hello! We're sneaking up on these... Oh, how dare. All your friends are dead, I think. I don't think there's anybody left to actually... Present Huzzah, the Hylian is here. Kill him. Oh yeah, I forgot. Bombs. The best way to get honey. Do you want honey? Throw a bomb! And then we'll go about grabbing everything. Another soldier's bow. Kind of sad that a professionally made bow for soldiers is... 
as good as uh, a bow made by monsters. And the frogs just keep commit die. Let's grab these shock arrows, because... Yes. Also, all these Lizolfo bows. We going for 100%? Uh, I don't know. Like, I'm definitely going to try and do a lot, but we're not going for all the Korok seeds. Might not go for all shrines. But try to do as many quests as possible. Try to get as many of, like, the armor sets as possible. Try to do all the big things. Basically. But definitely not Korok Seeds, maybe Shrines. That is a maybe. Oh, just make sure I have the camera, yeah, I forgot. The Compendium. Well, I guess there are some things in, over here I can take pictures of. The Nightmare of the Compendium. It's like a first-person horror game. Go ahead and take that picture. What about you? Does not care for Lizolfo pieces. Does it care for chest? It does. Do you care for box? So the camera's discriminatory. Treasure chest, which is just a glorified box, cares about. Normal box, everyday, hard worker, doesn't care about. Yeah, <laughs> the compendium will probably be a nightmare for me. Let me guess, a normal arrow takes a picture. That's kind of hilarious, you can barely see it. The power of the compendium. But even then, I'd say the compendium probably takes less time than, like, the bloody Koroks. Uh, just warning because I looked up, uh, locked myself out of 200% by killing Ganon before camera. <laughs> hey! Hey! Over here! Where are you, my boy? Still in the river? Sorry for calling from so far away. The domain is still a ways off, but you're making good progress. I shall be along soon myself. I won't be much longer. In the meantime, I'll be cheering you on from here in the river. So hang in there. You can do it. Stay strong. Sidon is such a nice guy. No wonder, like, the fan base just latched on to him. Meanwhile, a bunch of it... <laughs> I do wonder why, like, Cass got latched on to as well. Probably because he's built like a truck. He's a big boy. And also just like... Ha is, is an interesting character design compared to like all the Hylians. And it's probably like the first Rito you're, you probably meet. Ah. What the fuck? You dare! You day, you, you, you bloody fuckers. Eat fruit! I should have known. Hey! You want bomb? Bomb! You fucker, that you were dead! How dare! Oh, no! Okay, we're entering into Hell Zone where evils begin. Oh, no. I thought, like, oh, we don't have to worry because uh, this is like a fake rain. Apparently, it's real now! I killed the keys, and immediately the lightning comes for me. In fact, being the Master Sword means Fi has the highest kill count in the series. That is hilarious. Ah, oh, what's his name? James A. Janice from Kill Count. You get on it right now. Game Kill Count. 
defy the sword. I weep for you if you have to count all the kills from Hyrule Warriors in Age of... At least, like, even if just Age of Calamity. Would you like a bomb? Would you like a second bomb? Oh, how the hell did you take a bomb and decide, nah, I'm not going to take damage? Nice throwing arm. Die. You think the water can save you? You think the deep water can save you? Cannot. You played Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Into the Bright Future? I have not yet. I do want to eventually go about and play uh, some Mystery Dungeon, like, ROM hacks and fan games at some point. But I've not gotten to it yet. Okay, the thunder and lightning seems to have passed. We can go back to weapons. It really did seem like the universe was like, how dare you kill those lightning keys? Die. Give me roast fish. The roasted fish. Have I taken a picture of you? I have. Like, it is nice that that tells you. But I'm going to be constantly second-guessing myself on what things I have or have not taken pictures of. Well, let's just hope. Uh, more items. Whenever I see resources, I'm like, I must grab. Oh, was that me making that noise? Something was made noise. Time to mine. I wonder what happened. Now I want to know. I can quick swap away. Mid-swing. <laughs> Lamp oil, rope, bombs. You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rupees. Hey, Link! You're almost halfway to Zora's Domain. Oh, by the way, there are a few spots up ahead with lots of enemies, uh, but I'm sure you'll be fine. I believe in you, Link! You're a, you're a good boy, Sidon. Very good. It's almost impressive that these get... Yep. I was aiming for the, uh, the explosive barrel. <laughs> Oh, well. Arrows. I thought he, like, realized I was here, but no, he just went to grab this Hyrule bass that was right next to an explosive barrel, I guess. And now we'll come over here because I think there was a smashy. It's a smashy. This sledgehammer has lasted a long time. Watching Breath of the Wild just shows me how different an experience it can be for everyone. Yeah. All the people that missed some things, like the warm doublet. How dare they miss the warm doublet! The lack of culinary cultured freaks! But yeah, th this being like a Zelda game that's without a clear order can just lead to funny little things where different people experience the game in different ways because they just went in different directions. Onwards we go. What the key? But luckily, it's dry here. So I can climb. At least a little bit. I wonder if they had to intentionally program that. They're like, oh no. Go flying! That should have done fall damage. You dare. <laughs> Die. 
Give me your body! Oh, just a series of spears that are not as good as my little sh sickle. And I don't think there's anything I'd want to trade them out for, except for the Traveler's Sword, but I can't do that to my poor Traveler's Sword. Because I need that for a quest! My dear boy, you know... You know nothing! You dare? I just want to read the hieroglyphics. Alright, that should have probably killed you. What the hell? Bow down and die! Alright, I'll... Get a better one. And all these arrows! So many arrows, and apparently that's a better shield. But I also need to be careful because I can't have too many, like, metal shields or else I die. History of the Zora, Part 1. The Eternal Zora's Domain, as told by King Dorfan. The rains have blessed Leneru since ancient times with an abundance of pure, clean water. Seeking a bounty of such water, the Zora gathered there. Thus, as the legends go, the domain was born 10,000 years ago. The land was also rich in ore, and so a unique form of stone masonry was developed to create our new home. The domain is one giant sculpture, a feat of architecture that has drawn admirers the world over. Our great domain will ever stand as a hallmark of the esteemed artists who made it an eternal symbol of Zora pride. Neat. From YouTube chat, here's a tip about shock arrow. These are more effective in most uh, in moist environments such as rain weather and bodies of water. I need to remember that. Like maybe if there's a bunch of enemies just hanging out, I can deal a bunch of damage to them by hitting the water. But I, I'm never smart enough to actually, like, take advantage of that most often. Why does Zora's Domain look so nice? I just love how it looks. It's such a good look. I really like how they gave the Zoras such a nice, beautiful aesthetic. Oh, I need to uh, equip a... equip a bowl. Get out of the coral. Hey! I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. Apparently just doesn't want to fight. Bob. Why do two damage when you can kill? Hello, hello. We are adventuring through the eternal storm of Zora's Domain. Maybe there's a thing up here. It's kind of a path leading up this way. Oh, hello, fox. I won't kill you. I've made a pact with the Ghost of Tsushima foxes to not do that. Either that's smoke, or maybe that's Varuda. I don't know. It seems that like a little close to be like the basin that the elephant is in. Look at all these frogs! You're mine! You're mine! Alexis to be made out of you because you can't be made into food because this game has things against French cuisine. Explosion. Frog legs do not exist in the world of Breath of the Wild. By the way, the number on the shield is its guard. Any weapon that goes over that number will make the shield take double damage. Hmm. That's interesting. Did not know that. That's a very interesting thing. It kind of makes sense. The sturdier the shield, 
like, uh, the better it is at taking on, like, uh, different aspects. Bum. For what you are. I killed him and found a restless cricket. He didn't have a bow. Why do you have arrows? I guess I could forsake. Let's see. I wish I could, like, tell the individual, like, where of certain items. I'll take another Lizelle fork. But yeah, that definitely makes sense as a defense mechanic. So if you kind of know, like, uh, certain enemies, you can, like, plot your shields better. Save your good shields for scary enemies and use lesser shields against weak enemies that don't scare you at all. And now we're going to do a bit of mining. The Lynx yearn for the mines. The spark shows no damage. Hmm. So I need to be careful of that. So I, like, don't bounce around, uh, like, multiple copies of the same weapon. That way I know, ah, this one isn't used. Throw the other one away. Need to keep that in mind. Need to keep that in mind. There's a lot of things up here. But thank you for that information. Soldier's Claymore, Boomerang, Lazal Shield, Balloon. Ba ba balloon. Ba ba balloon. <laughs> Play more Breath of the Wild, are we? I could have sworn you were going to stream Persona 3. Three streams Breath of the Wild, then jump back to Persona 3. That was the plan, but then, like, I want to recharge myself on Persona. Because I really want to do Persona justice. Like, pay attention to the characters and stories and really commentate on them. And not just, like, blindly go through. That way, people can, like, watch the streams or the, the backlog. Because, like, ah, somebody playing Persona 3. And then they, get like, hopefully get me in a good headspace doing the game justice, basically. Like, uh... Huh, interesting. Uh, let's just kind of analyzing the area. Because that looks like a thing. What are you? Is it another mural? I think so. But it's raining, so getting back would be a pain. Let me analyze the area. But yeah, basically just like Breath of the Wild comes to me far easier. Well, Persona 3, like, for whatever reason, my brain is weird about it. I think it's a mural. I do want to read it, but the problem remains of not being able to climb because everything is moist. Then again, it might not actually be because there seems to be another mural over there. Or maybe they're, like, just hidden away. Hmm. Don the rain. Oh, uh, idea. Idea. I can mark where you are and come back for you. Delete the pen. And then put star. Same thing with you. That way I can come back in case there's like a quest to read up on all of these. Perfect. Perfect. Use the diddly dees given to me's from Twitch chat. Hey there, what's up? Just some plain of Breath of the Wild. And just really chilling with it. Just adoring the Zora's domain. Just a great aesthetic. Using uh, Tear of the Kingdom's bullet time compared to Breath of the Wild bullet time feels weird. Hmm. I didn't know there was much of a difference. I'll have to look out for that. Just look at this bridge! It's so nice looking. It's just so artistic! 
the artistry at hand here. Granted, I guess it's a bit better because I guess Zora's domain was a smaller area and more, like, rugged, so it wasn't as easy to attack. Hey, Link! Basically, Hyrule got hit the hardest, Zora's domain not as much. Look below! Down here! Way below. You're still pretty far off, my friend. But I was sure you'd be passing over this bridge, so I've been waiting for you. You'll be in Zora's domain before you know it. In fact, I'm going to head that way too. I shall meet you there. Whoa, Link! Beware, warrior! A monster approaches from behind you! Ah, great. Oh, how nice. How dare you try to kick me? And it was a scary one, too. Hey, Sidon, I did it. Are you still there? Oh, he left. It was a big moblin. Scary motherfucker. Trying to induce fear. How did that sneak up on me? How dare it speak, uh, speak up on me? Oh, don't, no need to mark that since it's right below them. But let's do more mining. One of these days I'll get like another sapphire. Or one of these days I'll be struck by lightning and killed. Let me see, did I take a picture of you? I have. It's about the same, only difference is you don't lose your stamina over time, instead it's every arrow you shoot. Ah, or I guess like every action you take in bullet time. That seems pretty neat. It's almost like Link leveled up. And is able to more efficiently use his bullet time. But we'll, we'll definitely need to explore this place when it's not moist! When we can actually climb like the little Breath of the Wild gremlin we desire to be in. You, what do you mean there's a shrine nearby, you fuck? There's a shrine down there. There's a shrine down there. We shall mark. And definitely not fly to it because it is far away. But we shall mark as treasure chest. Stars for things of interest. And then treasure chests for shrines. Honestly, kind of surprised that there isn't a, like, shrine dedicated, like, sticker. Huh. Interesting that this seems to be, like, a way. We'll travel down this way a little ways. See if there's anything over here. It could just could just be a roundabout, or it could be a another mural next to a weird tree. Hello, fox. I've made a pact with the foxes of Ghost of Tsushima and shall not kill. And we shall place stars so that we know you're here. History of the Zora Part Six. We've missed like five. And we've only marked two others. Huh. So we've missed three overall. History of Azora Part 6. Divine Beast Varuta, as told by King Dorfin. When the Divine Beast Varuta was first discovered at Zora's domain, my daughter Mipha hurried to see it. Those present that day say they saw an unusual sparkle of excitement in Mipha's normally calm eyes as she beheld Ruta. The princess spoke of the Divine Beast as she would a friend, and was overjoyed when she was chosen to pilot Ruta. I thought nothing of it at the time, but given the events that followed, I now regret allowing this to happen. I've spent many long years consumed by guilt. My dearest wish is that her soul will know peace. I pray for it every day. 
Actually, like, taking a look at this. Like, little trees that are kind of inspired by coral, it seems. That's really cool. But we're not climbing. It's raining out. We can't climb. That's illegal. But yeah, it's been a hundred years, and uh, Mifa has probably been stuck there waiting. Waiting for somebody to come and uh, wrench Varuta away from Ganon. And it will be me! Because Mipha is a darling. Ah, shit. Uh, biggest bow. Dang it. Take that, idiot. Go sliding. Get bombed. I missed my bomb. Take that, idiot. No magics for you. And no, I'm not going to take your wand. Another traveler sword. And a wooden shield. Oh, you're useless to me. Kind of neat that we can see Death Mountain all the way down here. At least the electricity can't, like... What's the word? Can't just, like, auto-lock on to me if I have... Elect like, a uh, metal things on me. History of the Zora Dindimwam. King Dorfin stands his ground. Around 100 years after King Dorfin ascended to the throne, a stray guardian crossed upland Zorana into our domain. The guardian seemed unstoppable. Our best soldier's spears barely left a scratch on its metal hole. It was then that our King Dorfin, without a thought for his own safety, came out to face the guardian himself. With supernatural strength, he lifted the guardian and hurled it into a ravine. The impact of the fall lifted the Guardian in pieces, and it was never to trouble another Zora ever again. The citizens celebrated the King's valor. From then on, their trust and respect for him grew beyond compare. You can still see the scar he earned that day on his forehead, a token of his triumph. Uh, is this uh, placed here because this is where he threw the Guardian into the ravine? That would be kind of funny. If you could, like, find the remnants of a guardian down in a hole, it activates and decides to annihilate you. But very impressive. If you're just able to lift and yeet a giant goddamn thing. And hello, Varuta, I see you, you bastard. I don't know why we can... It's kind of like pseudo-marked to come up here. Is there a thing at the top of this here mountain? Ah, it's a Korok. I should have known! Die! That is the best joy you can have when finding one of these Koroks. You can just bash him over the head with a rock! Ba da 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 I got closer to them than I thought I would. I thought they'd fly away in like an instant. I am very sneaky. Come here, Goldana. It's a Moblin! I can blow him up with a bomb because he's a red boy. I'm gonna blow you up, you motherfucker! Ah, come to think of it, you're just like the same level of uh, health as a normal, like, around about the same as a normal, uh, what's his name? Uh, normal Lizalfos. That's kind of interesting. Do 
go, da da do, down we go. Isn't that the bridge that we came across? If it, if it weren't for the rain, I would have been able to just parasail on over, which is, I guess, part of the reason that it's constantly raining. Hawk, the rain. You see nothing, you big snouted weasel. Heffalumps and woozles are very dead now. <laughs> Assassin's Creed, but with Winnie the Pooh win. Oh, bother. Looks <laughs> rest in peace. I can't. I used to be able to do a semi decent Winnie the Pooh, but it's a very hard voice to do. It's very specific, primarily because Jim Cummings has been doing that voice forever. And he's just a master of it. Hit Ori of the Zor part Zvin, part Zvin, the row who def de defeated, he took away the feats. It's gonna lose death battle now. The Lyle, as uh, told by King Dorfan, Tur was a time when the people of the land were threatened by the Drabeast, Lee, who lived on Plumumitin. But one hein drove the beast back and reored Pak to the dawn. The Zora Helm win in this f this fight in the uh, north of in the Rond near Lake. Okay, so north of something ruins near the lake. It res there to whore the deads of the Li. Time has taken its toll on this one. When it's like the newest one! I swear! Huh, Ruto Lake. So probably somewhere down here. Maybe? I'm definitely going to look for that. I'm going to look for that. Because it said lake. Hmm, let me read this. Make note. The Zora Helm, one in this fight, is now north of the blank, three-letter word, in the ruins near four-letter word lake. North of the three, four-letter lake. North of the three, four-letter lake. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. I'm considering Ruto Lake. North of the three-letter word, so like, maybe down here somewhere? I presume. There's Lulu Lake, Mikau Lake, Toto Lake. So it's possible, since this is north, I'm going to make marks of here. Maybe Lulu Lake, because it's like near the place that the fight happened, because I presume it's uh, Ploymus. But. And then we'll also set one here just in case. But we're definitely looking for that helm. <laughs> Everyone, sorry, but I'm going to bedtime early, so bye. Good night. Hope you have a nice rest. And thank you for spending some time here with me tonight. But definitely rest well. Sleep is very important. I need to have more of that. But I constantly go, like, go, oh, I'll just do this one more thing. And then I procrastinate. And then it's like one in the morning. Yeah, we're gonna find that we're gonna find that helmet. I don't think I've ever found that helmet before. I'm not gonna look it up. I'm gonna try and find that on its own. But considering that it is meant to commemorate me and presumably my death, more than likely it will be because four letter lake. It's here, but I've no idea what the three is. The dam! North of the dam, Lulu Lake. That's probably what it is. I accidentally added another one. 
I'm so used to that being the back button on normal controllers. The far right button. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody, I say, as we enter Zora's domain. Is that racist? Because of all the water and them being fish? Yes, I know there's a shrine. It is right there. We're going as fast as we can to get there. Beep, beep. Zora's Domain. I really like the Breath of the Wild font. This is very nice. That is a freaky sculpture, gotta say. That is a good sculpture, gotta say. The one that I said freaky looked like a weird fish. That one looks like a hot fish. That big one at the top with the eyes. The always staring eyes. <sighs> Whoa. It's me. I've been waiting for you, Link. Welcome. Behold the pride of my people, Zora's Domain. Now I shall introduce you to the king. Hurry this way. <laughs> Bleg. Again, that is a freaky sculpture. Huh? What is it? Uh, Master Link! Is it truly you? The Hylian Champion? It's me, Riven! We used to swim together when I was but a child. Remember? Sadly, I don't remember. Mm. Well, it has been a hundred years since then, and now I'm closer to 130 years old. You are a 30-year-old child? Jesus. I must say, you've aged well for a Hylian. Unbelievably well. Now that I think about it, Shouldn't you be dead? Sorry, that may be too personal a question. Uh. <clears throat> Father, we're on guard duty right now. Oh, right, sorry. The leader of the pack, Baz, the heroine Goddesson, and my father, Trello. They have all aged quite a bit, I'm afraid, but they're doing well. Uh. Oh, but Master Link, you probably shouldn't speak to the elderly. Oops, uh, sorry for keeping you too long. You have business in the throne room, right? Please proceed there at your earliest convenience. I like you, Riven. You're nice. What about you, Dunma? It looks like Father was rather excited to speak with you. Oh, well. A Hylian, eh? I believe this is our first meeting, yes? My name is Dunma. You're female, right, Link? Why do you even need to say that? My, how observant are you are. Is there a problem? How old are you? Link, you're just making it worse. This is not an appropriate question. Ask a lady you've just met. Let's just say I'm less than 100 years old. Can't you tell? I'm so much less formal than the elders, aren't I? Uh. At any rate, right now in Zora's domain is looking for a Hylian warrior. For more detailed information, please go speak with King Dorfin in the back. Hello there, you touching up some of the crystals? Uh. Oh, it's you! We met at Zora River! It's me, Lido! Thank you for coming so quickly. But enough about oh. me. Could I possibly ask you to go and meet with King Dorfin? Oh. He's in the throne room. Please, go ahead. I like that the ones you actually meet... Like, that, that's just such a cool thing. They actually took these NPCs and, like, dotted them around, like, the paths you could take to this place. And they remember if you've met them. That's just so nice. Yeah. Hello. Mm -hmm. Are you a Hylian? That's right. Uh. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Laflat. I am the chief secretary for the royal family. Mm? Are you curious about this statue of Lady Mipha? Yes, I'm curious. It's a very nice statue. Oh. If you do not mind, please allow me to explain. This is the statue of the former Zora champion. Her name was Lady Mipha. Ah. She was as kind as she was as beautiful. They say her ability to heal wounded soldiers is beyond compare. Those soldiers she healed, they are old and decrepit now, but they remember. For this reason, the elders of the Domain all love Lady Mipha dearly. If you would like to know more, I suggest you try to talk to one of them. <laughs> Except the guy that apparently knows me immediately said, Don't do that. The elderly. They'll seek revenge. The old Zora's home will come for me. But well, before we do anything else, we're gonna do this shrine so we have a teleportation spot. Let's-a-go!
Come to think of it, why is there a highly or like why is there a Sheikah shrine in the middle of the Zora's domain? Oh no, this is gonna be gyro, isn't it? Or isn't it? No, I don't think it is. Nezyoma. Hmm. So it's going to be using ice to block things, presumably. Because I'll need to block the different ways and get the Baba Daba down here. Gotta be careful so I don't get run down. Hello and welcome to Zora Prinko. Zora Plinko. Where hell comes for you. You do not get to sell the balls. But that's also like a weird way of gambling. Or I guess like getting around gambling in Japan. They're just like... Oh, it's not gambling. People just sell their the balls they win at this game to a uh, different like uh, to a different guy. Totally not gambling, by the way. It's not gambling, just a Ponzi scheme. Alright, I need to... Hmm. Yeah, I placed this badly, didn't I? Darn it, there he goes. That just means I can plan for the next one. And a Zora Spear. But I think uh, everything I have is pretty good. I can do a silly little dance. But it seems I stopped up the pachinko. It's not moving no more. And now we'll just follow you and hope you actually go over and do things. Properly. Yes, yes. Move along, little doggy. Hmm. I need to like ease the ball in. Gotta slow it down a lot so it doesn't fall in. Slow it down, ya boy! Alright, then I probably... Probably do have to stasis this and whack it a little bit. There we go. Only one reset. Although I probably could have... I wonder what the speed run for that looks like. If there is, like, such a thing as speedrunning all the shrines. I solved your pachinko, Sheikah man. Give me your orb! Orb! I need to look. I wonder if there's going to be a goddess statue here that I can turn hearts into orbs. Or orbs into hearts.
<laughs> Battle tip. Steal shit from the monsters. They'll never see it coming. Especially under the cover of night and bombs. Hello, welcome to the seabed end. Here we... Could it be Lenny? It is Lenny! <laughs> Precisely, I can respond. Precisely. Yes, I'm sure of it. You're Lenny. Wow, it's been such a long time. Wait, but I thought you and Mifa fell to Calamity Ganon. And if you've been alive all this time, where have you been? What have you been doing? Please tell me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm an adult and yet here I am making a ruckus. Has it really been a hundred years? In a way, it feels like yesterday. Oh. We've both been through a lot, I'm sure. If you don't mind, I'd love to catch up sometime soon. <laughs> and this is just an inn. I wonder what even this is. <laughs> a little bit odd that you come here, you probably sign in, and then you sleep right in view of the man. Oh, hey, Goron! This is the first Goron we've seen. Good evening. Welcome to Marrow Mart. This is where you'll find our general store and the coral reef. Our workshop, the hammerhead, is also Ooh. here. Or do you need something else? <laughs> the workshop? <laughs> the old man in the workshop, his name is Dento. He's my grandpa. He's the one who fixed Mifa's weapon, the light scale trident. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you'd like? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so I can buy various things like rock salts. Swift violence. I haven't found any swift violence. <laughs> swift violence, I say. Ooh. Hey, you're a Hylian, aren't you? Try to see your kind around here. <laughs> As for me, I was roaming nearby during my travels when Prince Sidon recruited me and brought me here. That's because I can touch shock arrows, but I also weigh, well, a lot. There's no way I'll be able to carry you on my back. <sighs> That's what Prince Sidon said to me. <laughs> that was kind of rude of him, wasn't it? <laughs> Poor guy. Hello, old man. Are you gonna hate me? Oh, so, the Hylian who stole Lady Mifa away thinks he can just come wandering in here like nothing happened. What business do you have here after all these years? What is this place? The weapons workshop. What are you doing? Oh. Trident maintenance. A trident? The light scale trident and the ceremonial trident. Mm. You've been making a racket since you walked in here. There's no point in coming here if you do not possess the light scale trident. Leave now. Harsh, I don't even know what a light scale trident is. I wonder where I can find it. And then make him like me. Hello. Well, what is the matter? <gasps> huh? A Hylian? And not just any Hylian! Isn't that you, Link? How dare you show your face here after what you did to Lady Mifa? Wait! What did you say? I, Trello, shall punish you on behalf of our beloved Lady Mifa! <sighs> <laughs> That's what I'd like to do, anyhow. But I'm afraid those of us in the Zora Council have our hands tied. Fool trying to figure out what to do about Varuta. <sighs> you? You were alive a hundred years ago, so you should know all about Ruta! Surely you cannot have forgotten. Lady Mifa, our Zora champion. In order to help defeat Calamity Ganon, she piloted the divine beast Varuta. Oh. But I do not understand... Why is the Divine Beast sending a plague of rain to us and making the Domain suffer? I think that the rain is the tears of Lady Mipha, who was defeated without fulfilling her duty. Oh, hey, is it you, Mr. Trapped on a Tower? Hi. Groove! Hey? Oh. oh, it's you. Hi. It's me. I'm the one Prince Sidon left on the top of the tower. The name's Groove. Aww. In the end, I wasn't able to join up with Prince Sidon. 
Instead, I worked up some fighting spirit and jumped into Zora River from the top of the tower. Then I came here. I was deeply moved seeing my reflection on the water surface as I dove in. Yes, deeply moved. Deeply moved? I don't expect you to understand this, but one's diving form is their truest and most beautiful form. Yes, truly. So lately, I've been spending my days scouting out diving ah. spots. When you learn how to climb waterfalls, please show me your beautiful form. Ah. Oh, hi, Lian, eh? The path to Zora's domain is paved with monsters, is it not? Here in the domain, we are currently recruiting warriors to join Prince Sidon in his fight. Please hurry up and meet with him. Oh, are you? I feel like we may or may not have met before at Zora River. I am the president of Prince Sidon's fan club. My name is Tula. Do you know Prince Sidon? Yes. That's just what I'd expect from our Prince Sidon. His renown has even reached you, Hylian. Ah, uh, mm, Prince Sidon. Just thinking of you turns me to mush. On the other hand, if that pack of geezers shows up again, I swear. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, Prince Sidon is a man with magnificent ideas. Oh, I know. Why don't you go and have a chat with Prince Sidon? Yes, do. Practicing your stabbing form? Uh. Hmm. Oh, Torfu. I think I remember your name. Oh, oh you're the guy from Anogo in, in, Bridge. The fact you're here must mean you've met with Prince Sidon. For now, you should head to the uh. throne room. Please, won't you listen to King Dorfin has to say? Sure thing. <laughs> Hello there. Apparently he's sleeping. Hello. What's wrong? Yeah. Mm, a traveler. Upon this stone monument is the proud history of the Zora, as dictated by King Dorfin himself many years <laughs> ago. I plan to record it all in a book, so I'm reading it again. That sounds rough. Link! Is that really you? The Hylian who stole away our Lady Mipha, and what's more, the champion who... I... I cannot forgive you! Not ever! Say what? Do you not understand the gravity of what you've done? Not only did you Hylians fail to stop Calamity Ganon 100 years ago, but you went and stole our Lady Mipha from us! I will never forgive you awful Hylians! Not ever! Hmm. Zor part Zvin. <laughs> this one's broken up in the exact same way. I think. Time has taken its toll on this. Uh. Is it Divine Beast Varuta's fault? Or is it my own? What do you mean? Uh. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, well. It's always nice to have a visitor here. Thank you for journeying to our fair Zoro's domain. Wait a moment. You... You're Link! The perpetrator who forced Lady Mipha to join his crusade 100 years ago, only to be destroyed by Calamity Ganon. As though I could f ever forget that face. You should know that the elderly here who loved Lady Mipha still remember, and they still resent you. I, however, resent the deed and not the person. I also believe in allowing the mistakes of the past to wash away. Link, I have retired from my role as a priest. I am now living my life free from the material concerns of this world. However, ever since I retired, each day is more boring than the last. Spending day after day in idleness only to pass from this world soon. Link, as I'm sure you're well aware, the afterlife lays claim to all. We never know when it will beckon. If during your travels you meet any engaged couples, I would like you to introduce them to me. Joining two souls is a true honor, one I shall stake my life on. Just one more wedding, and I shall be fulfilled. I'll keep that in mind, my fair man. I shall send any potential... <coughs> send any potential couples your way. Hey there, Neon. Hello, hello. We're exploring Zora's domain because it's so pretty! It's, except for the sculpture. That's horrifying, but it's so pretty! Hi. 
Hello and welcome. Zoro's domain is currently searching for a Hylian like mm. you. That said, this Hylian, I get the feeling I've seen him before. Perhaps a long time ago. <coughs> well, I can admire your tenacity. Ah, mm. uh, uh, Lady Mifa, watch this. I second the aptly named Demon Sergeant shall strike down the Divine Beast Varuta. What you doing? <laughs> you, your Link! Finally, I can avenge Lady Mifa. It has been a hundred years since you last showed your face here. Now I, Sagan, will cut you down myself. What do you mean? <laughs> Playing dummy! Nice try, but you cannot fool me, Champion Link. You were unable to protect Lady Mifa from Calamity Garden. It's been a hundred years since we lost her. Poor Lady Mifa. How heartbreaking. I won't fail her again. <laughs> huh? There's no way we would ask for your help now. After all this time, and after all that has happened. So says I, Sagan the Demon Sergeant. Even if this body of mine is destroyed, I will drown Ruta in shock arrows myself. And in doing so, Lady Mifa's regrets shall be alleviated. If you understand anything of courage, then get out of my way at once! I shall steal. Hey! I'm in the middle of my shock arrow training. I must learn to withstand them. Did I not just tell you that? To commit such violence with great seconds standing right before you. In that case, you take the responsibility of appeasing the Divine Beast Varuta. <laughs> At least you'll stop hurting yourself. That's elder abuse, basically. You just hurting yourself like that. I want another heart container. I need to like eventually head to the forest to try and see how many hearts I need to actually get the master sword. Because then once I get that amount, maybe I'll start putting, like, stamina wheel stuff on, and then maybe alternate or something. But currently, I do not know how many I need. I need so many, so many heart containers. <laughs> and then I get a good weapon out of it, too. But I just walked terribly. But let us head up first things first, though. I'm going to make a save. Just so that we have a perma save. Reach Zora's domain complete. I'm here. It's me. Hello, Sidon. Ah, you must be the Hylian that Siren brought here, correct? You did well to come all the way here. Yeah. I am King Dorfum, ruler of the Zora. Hmm? That object upon your waist. Is that not a Sheikah Slate? Hmm? Now that I have gotten a good look at your face that is conspicuously covered in a Sheikah mask, it is all too clear who you are. You are the Hylian Champion Link! Do not tell me you have forgotten me. The Hylian Champion? You can't mean THE Link! That Champion! So that's where I've heard your name before. What a fateful coincidence that we should cross paths! <laughs> I cannot believe it. The Hylian Champion Link has appeared before us. We have met numerous times, I'll have you know. Ah, so many memories. My mind is overflowing with nostalgia, my friend. I had heard a terrible rumor that you had fallen in combat. You managed to survive. Extraordinary. I lost my memory. Better than saying I fell asleep. I like that it took him a moment to, like, actually respond. Like, wait a minute. You lost your memory? What the fuck? Link, how could you let that happen? You are a madman. 
come again, you say that you have lost your memory. But surely you must remember my precious daughter, Mipha. Yes, you do, do you not? Doesn't ring a bell, sadly. None of the memories I found were of importance to Mipha specifically. I don't even think her name was said there. I cannot believe it. Have you truly forgotten my dear Mipha as well? You and Mipha were so close, yet you do not remember her. Young hero, please look upon the beauty of Zora's domain. Do you see that statue? Does gazing upon Mipha's immortalized form still not jog your memory? Well, perhaps your memory will return in time. Mm. I dearly hope so. Oh. Father, I do not believe discussing my sister is helping matters at the moment. Link seems confused. Mm. Oh, yes, of course. But first, it is worth noting how remarkable it is that Sidon brought a champion here without realizing it. That is quite a feat, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good one. Link, I doubt that you have un endured a great many tr I doubt not that you have endured a great many trials. Still, I must ask you here my plea. Mm. Now then, hero, I must inform you that Zoro's domain is in danger of vanishing because of divine beast Varuta. I shall do you the courtesy of speaking bluntly. We alone cannot stop this beast. Mm. Will you lend us your strength? What? Yeah. King Dorfin, my liege, please do not speak so. To ask a Hylian for help, why the very thought of it curls my fins. Mm. Muzu, I expected more of you. How can you still protest? <sighs> Muzu, it is rude to speak that way to your king and his guest. Link is here because I invited him. With such unprecedented rainfall, we have no choice but to rely on the aid of a trustworthy Hylian. Have we not already discussed this and arrived at that very conclusion? He is the key to saving Zora's domain. I have no doubt in my mind. Mm. Indeed, Link is a champion through and through. As things now stand, Zora's domain, nay, perhaps all of Hyrule, is doomed to be swallowed by the sea. This is bigger than all of us, my friend. Zora and Hylians alike must put aside our differences and band together. Have you forgotten already, my king? We cannot trust these lowly Hylians. A hundred years ago, they abused the power of an ancient civilization and turned Hyrule into what it is today. And that is not the least of it. It is their fault that Lady Mipha was lost to us. Also, I gotta say, this guy is like a really interesting Zora design. I like when they get creative with the character designs. Link, Divine Beast Varuta has great power. It has the unique ability to create an endless supply of water. So this, <laughs> I think that alone makes it like the strongest Divine Beast. This one can fly. This one can climb. This one has lightning. This one creates matter. Of late, it has been mercilessly spouting water into the air. As a result, this area has been plagued by heavy rains. For us, Zora, water and air are as one. So you would not think this would be quite so critical of a problem. Mm. Sadly, the rains have filled the eastern reservoir nearly to the point of flooding. And if it floods, water still packs a punch. From YouTube chat, I'm good having a good day. That's good. Good days are very nice. If the reservoir bursts, as it soon will, I fear immense damage will befall not only Zora's domain but also the area downstream from us. Their Hylian lives are in very grave danger. I think Varutan has realized we're talking about it. The Divine Beast is crying out once again.
gaze upon this horrifying thing. You'd not think that a mechanical elephant would be horrifying. The Divine Beast Varuta. Your princess Zelda often studied the Divine Beasts. That is, in the time before the Great Calamity. According to her research, the orbs located on Ruta's shoulders are mechanisms that can control the water it generates. However, they require electricity to work. These orbs are clearly out of control now because there is no electricity coursing through to stop them. Mm. Segan, who is quite shock resistant for Azora, hit one with a shock arrow. Sure enough, it slowed the water for a bit. Unfortunately, as an aquatic race, we Zora are terribly vulnerable to the power of electricity. Perhaps because we could not safely strike it with enough electricity at once, the water soon returned to its full force. <laughs> that is why I went in search of a Hylian who could help us. Link, I am certain that you have already figured this out, but we need you to use shock arrows to get those orbs working properly again. Hmm. I will aid you in any way I can, of course. Please, hero, I beg of you. Help me stop Ruta's rampage of destruction. I, um... What? Princess Zelda herself instructed you to board the Divine Beast and appease it from within. So then Princess Zelda is still alive. Yep, in Hyrule Castle, fighting to this very day. Mm, I do not believe it. She was alive this whole time, just as you were. Although the question is, how has she survived a hundred years? Has it just been, like, Goddess of Hylia Super Saiyan form, just coursing through her, putting off the old age? Although that would be kind of different in a way. Like, I know it doesn't happen, but it would have been slightly interesting if, like, at the end of the game, you find Zelda and she's, like, really, really old. I think that'd be interesting. The events of a hundred years ago cannot be altered, it's true. But if we can regain control of the Divine Beasts, they may yet prove useful in sealing Calamity Ganon once and for all. Uh, I do not know you had such grand ambitions, Link. <laughs> Wondrous! Naturally, I shall help too! Once it has stopped rampaging, you can easily climb inside it. Come, Link, let us appease Ruta together! I'm in. Let's do this. <laughs> Thank you, Link. Truly, we are in your debt. Our goal is the same. That means our meeting was nothing short of destiny. Now then, allow me to offer you this gift as a show of faith. Zora Armor. A custom armor painstakingly crafted by each generation Zora princess for her future husband. Like, I know it's not, like, the super most popular ship, but Mitha Link is adorable. And this just makes it all the more adorable. Wearing it will give you the ability to swim up waterfalls. So long as you wear this, you can ascend waterfalls just like Azora. Please take good care of it. King Torfin! Surely you do not really intend to give this outside of Azora armor! Countless generations of Zora princesses have gifted that armor to the one they have sworn to marry. Princess Mipha made that one there with her own hands. It is far too important to entrust to a shady Hylian. He may be a champion, but Mipha had no such relationship with him, so why should he receive such an honor? This is too much, my liege. I do not understand it one bit. Mm. That Muzu is not easily swayed once his mind is set. You must understand, he was in charge of educating my dear daughter, Mipha. Naturally, she means a lot to him, just as she means the world to us. Ever since we lost her to the Calamity, he has grown to despise aliens. I hope you can forgive his rudeness. Mm -hmm. hmm, but what shall we do now? 
I tasked Muzu with finding the shock arrows we will need to appease Varuta. But now he has rushed, rushed off in a huff. <sighs> Link, do not let his words concern you. I will work this out with Muzu. I shall return shortly. And now I am left alone with Dorfin. Sidon, I suppose that means you are going to tell him. Ooh. Link, Muzu is most likely at the square down below. Would you mind going down there? I would like you to try and speak with him. I do like the world building and just the everything. It's just very nice. I wonder if I can get all the old people to stop hating me. But yeah, I know a lot of people ship Link and Zelda, but Link Mifa is adorable even if she is dead. Huh. Hi. Hmm. You came all the way here, but it was in vain. I have no desire to speak with you. Hmm. Listen well, Muzu. There is something you need to know. He who stands here, the man called Link, is the one whom my sister Mifa had feelings for. I was only a child then, so I did not know it myself at the time, but it is so. Just imagine waiting a hundred years to drop this bombshell on an old Zora. I grew up hearing my father tell stories, some of which were about my sister's undying love for a Hylian named Link. What? No! You cannot fool me with such a fanciful lie! Not this, Zora! How could Lady Mifa possibly have feelings for a Hylian like him? The facts are clear. He remembers nothing, even when he looks upon Princess Mifa's statue. It is truth, Mizu. Mizu? We're gonna make him into Mizu soup. It is the truth, Muzu. Though you never knew it, he was ever in Mifa's heart. It is a very good statue. <laughs> and then Sidon and Muzu disappear. It is only Link, Mifa, and that Goron in the weapon shop. Memory time. That's kind of adorable. Just on the trunk of this godly mechanical beast. I was thinking, this reminds me of the time we first met. You were just a reckless child. Always getting yourself hurt at every turn. Every time I would heal you just as I'm doing right now. I thought it was funny how being a Hylian you looked grown up so much faster than I did. I was... I was always willing to heal your wounds. Still Even are, it seems. Then. Mipha was too pure for this horrible, sinful earth. So if this Calamity Ganon does in fact return, what can we really do? We just don't seem to know much about what we'll be up against. But know this, that no matter how difficult this battle might get, if you, if anyone ever tries to do you harm, then I will heal you. No matter when or how bad the wound, I hope you know that I will always protect you. Once this whole thing is over, maybe things can go back to how they used to be when we were young. You know. Perhaps we could spend some time together. Mifa is underrated. She's so good. She's so good. 
from, from Twitch chat. Howdy. Howdy indeed. I'm doing pretty good today. Game is very fun. How about you? And yep, <laughs> Link B remembering the olden times. Twitch chat says, I loved Mifa and Link dynamic. It is such a cool thing because usually it's only kind of like, at like a slightly a possible thing, kind of like Link and the, I forget her name. Ilya? No, like from Twilight Princess, Link grew up in Ordon Village and there was like the like elder, like a, uh, like older young woman of the village and Link was like the older young man and that was like the closest thing to like a pre-existing relationship I think. Elsewise Link never really has a like a rom a romance target in any of his games except for maybe Zelda. But like it's really cool that they gave Link a canonical love interest and she's dead at the start of the game. Oh, pain. Pain in the life of Link. What is the matter, Link? Are you unwell? Hmm. Hmm. You are quivering like a hatchling. Whatever is the matter? Mifa, I remember. What? Do not mistake me for a fool, Hylian. There's no way you remembered her just now when it was most convenient. In any case, without any solid proof, I cannot possibly take you at your word. If you have any such proof, now is the time to show it. Do so, and I... And I... I shall tell you how to get those shock arrows. Yes, as well as anything else you wish to know. Well, as it said... The Zora armor, painstakingly crafted by each generation Zora princess for her future husband. Ah. Muzu, look closely at the clothes Link is wearing. Huh? Hmm? You really think changing your clothes is going to make me... What? Uh, what in the... That is the Zora armor from before. Lady Mifa made that by hand, and yet it fits you perfectly. What is the meaning of this? Oh. Now you understand, do you not? Now you know who her heart belonged to. And who she made this special armor for. The fact that this armor fits Link perfectly should be proof enough that Mipha made it for him and him alone. You have always disliked Hylians, even before the Great Calamity. That is why Mipha never told you. Hmm. Now that you know, you must promise to help him save us all, Muzu. Please, tell us where we can find the shark arrows we need. Knowing you, I bet you've already figured it out. Hmm. I never would have imagined she would make that special armor for one such as he. I do not approve of asking for help from a Hylian, but I suppose it is our only option at this point. I am a proud Zora. That means I must take responsibility for my unwarranted behavior toward you. As promised, I shall tell you where you can collect as many shock arrows as you will need. Mm. That tall mountain over yonder, it is called Ploymus Mountain. And there you will also find Shatterback Point. A terrifying creature has made its home up there. This awful beast shoots volley after volley of shock arrows. Even a single one could be fatal to Azora. Uh. Ah, you must mean that Lionel. He's a man-beast, that one. That beast does indeed wield shock arrows. That is certainly one way to collect them quickly. He is vicious, to be sure. But I'm certain Link will rise to the challenge. In order to appease the divine beast, I estimate that you will need... Hmm, at least 20 shock arrows. Do you think you can gather that many? I can try. Hmm? Well, well, what have we here? It seems you already have some shock arrows. Still, if you need any more, you can always go to Ploymus Mountain to restock. Hmm. Link, I'll be waiting for you at the East Reservoir Lake, right by the Divine Beast. When you are ready, 
come joining me there. I'm on it. <laughs> Wonderful. Together we shall stop that divine beast's onslaught. Like, this is such, like, a very interesting beginning. Ah, if you want shark arrows, you should go to Ploymus Mountain. There resides a vicious beast there, a Lionel, that is known to frequently shoot shark arrows. Foe, be warned, if you go, I cannot guarantee you will survive. And I don't know where the light scale trident is either. So to get up there, I think we need to go up this way, maybe, and we'll be able to get there? Maybe? And Sidon is a, a best brother one could ask for. Definitely. Were Mipha still around, Sidon would definitely have earned just like all the all the praise. Oh, you got you got you got a ba ba ba. Got a quest for me. Good morning, Link. I'm sorry to ask this of you when you're busy dealing with the divine beast. But I'm afraid this is a task that only you can accomplish. There's a red-maned monster called a Lionel that lives on Ploymus Mountain. I really need a picture of a Lionel. It can be a picture of any red-maned Lionel, not just the one on the mountain. So what do you say? I'll get it for you. I'm glad that it was settled so quickly. See, there's this fool in the domain who goads people into jumping off Shatterback Point on Ploymus Mountain. It's an incredibly dangerous jump, and this guy pressures people into jumping off by questioning their courage. He's a real bottom feeder. If this keeps up, someone is surely going to wind up horribly injured. I need a picture of a Lionel to show everyone how scary they are. That way, maybe people will stop going up there. Does that answer your question, Link? I'll leave the details to you. Just bring me a picture of a Lionel so I can describe them in terrible detail. Thank you. I'll need to remember that, and because it seems that uh, things have changed a bit, I'm going to talk to different people and see if anything's changed. Now I remember this person is... However, if this person is the Hylian that Prince Sidon brought, this all sounds too good to be true. I don't think it's possible, but I'd rather just ask to be sure. Oh. I must ask you something of you, Traveler. If you know it, speak it now. What is the Big Bad Baz, Brig uh, Big Bad Baz Brigade password? Fluffy White Clouds, Clear Blue, Zora? Oh. Yes, there's no mistaking it. You are indeed the real Master Link. It's true, I am indeed Link. <laughs> I knew it. The only people who know that password are members of the Big Bad Vaz Brigade. Mm. That said, you haven't changed at all. But what have you been doing for the last 100 years? Uh, I had a post-death nap. Eh? As though you could sleep for that long. Oh? <laughs> now then, Mr. Link, what do you need from me? King Dorfin? He's the father of Princess Mipha and Prince oh. Sidon. Princess Mipha fell to Calamity Ganon 100 years ago. It has certainly been difficult ever since. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> me? I'm Baz. A hundred years ago, you frequently trained with me in the art of the blade, remember? Thanks to that, I made great progress of my sword training. And now I'm captain of the Zora's Domain Guard. <laughs> I'm in your debt, Master Link. Oh. I do not have the, the will to ask who Mipha is. Especially because I just got my memory. Well, some memory back. Let's see, just normal arrow, frost arrow, ice arrow. Would be funny if they sold, like, arrows. What do you want? <sighs> so I need to get the light scale trident somehow. Maybe it'll be a gift if I win the day. Or it's just out there, in the wild. The breath of the wild. The only thing missing from this place is a single Rito. And like all the races would be here in one place. Well, I guess I'm gonna head off. See if I can make it to the place. 
Why is there just a a box here? Yeah. That was just a box here. But I really love the look of Zora's domain. Just very, very nice. But we're gonna head up, try to... We'll probably have to go up the... The waterfalls. <gasps> yes, sir! East gate is all clear, sir! Ooh. Oh, well, if it isn't Master Link! Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? We used to play together all the time. That was a hundred years ago. My name is Gaddison. Ooh. The Hylian that Prince Sidon brought here. Don't tell me that was you, Master Link! Mm. And what's more, you don't seem to have changed much in the last 100 years. Uh, but I shouldn't be making idle chit-chat just now. I'm supposed to be fulfilling my officially appointed duty by keeping watch at the East Gate. I must maintain my surveillance of the East Reservoir Lake. Uh, we can chat later. I do like that a lot of the, like, current, like, young adult Zoras all remember Link. And that Link apparently was just like... A real presence here a hundred years ago. Yep. It's just very neat. Well, we won't be able to climb, so we'll probably have to launch, launch, and get to the top of Ploymus Mountain to get more shock arrows. But let me see. They did say I need about 20, but I want to make sure I have a surplus. <laughs> Swim upward! Fear my power, for I am Link! I am Long, and I know how to fly. I know how to fly through the sky like a Zora. We shall not kill the animals. That would be desecration. Mark that because I'm just marking where all the Zora histories are being marked. History of the Zora, Addendum 2, Prince Sidon's Great Escape. There was once a giant octorock in Hatino Bay, large as a mountain which terrorized the village's fishers. Hearing of their distress, Prince Sidon went forth to personally eliminate the offending octorock. But this octorock was a tricky beast. After the prince dodged one of the stones it spat, it inhaled him whole. Such had been the fate of many strong warriors who would win to slay the octorock. Not one had come back alive. Just as it seemed Prince Sidon would be counted among them, the giant Octorok twisted in pain. The tip of a silver scale spear pierced the Octorok's stomach from within, revealing itself as the source of the beast's agony. Incredibly, Prince Sidon had fought his way out by stabbing his spear over and over into the monster's stomach. Unable to bear the pain, the Octorok coughed up the prince and scrambled to escape. Ever since, the fishers of Hatino Bay have passed down this heroic tale, the prince who slew the fair Octorok. Neat. But now we shall fly up to... Well, let's see. Huh, this is Lulu Lake. And the diddly Dee said that the... Like, helmet. Maybe it was placed at the top of the waterfall? Well, at least I assume that it said Lulu Lake because it was the tale of how Link defeated a Lionel a hundred years ago and he was gifted the helmet. And the helmet was placed at. Like, uh, north of the dam, I think it was, at a four-letter lake. Which could also be Toto Lake. Could also be Toto Lake. But I guess we'll defeat the Lionel, and then we'll head to Toto Lake to try and find that helmet.
because I want to be able to rock the whole Zora set, because I don't think I've ever found all of the set before. I don't think I've ever found, like, all of the Zora set before, so... I definitely... wanna. I also need to remember, I need to take a picture of the lineup. And then kill it. And then make my way to Toto Lake. And then maybe... Well, definitely not jumping through Shatterback Point. I can do that later. I come for you, Lino. I come for your arrows. I come for your mugshot. I come for your heart. Luckily, I have a lot of hearts, so... Darn too far away. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Lino. I wonder if that works. Hmm. That one's much better. It's angry. Oh, that's not a weapon. Oh! Dang it! And that almost killed me. Also, it doesn't help that I didn't have my attack stuff on. Let's see. I'll take you on with the power of hearty radishes. Take this! Flurry Rush! Flurry Rush again! I'm gonna use Edge of Duality to finish you! That was close. What else would I want to use on you? How about I use this Zora Longsword on you? Darn, that hit! And double darn, that also hit. And I <laughs> really need to get a good loop down, but he's kicking my ass. Always like seem to jump at incorrect times to get it good. No. Ah, darn it. Double darn. The timing for that's a little wonky. Darn it. You can never tell if he's gonna run away and stay away, or if he's gonna charge. Well, that was very mean. I didn't have a chance to get up and do things. No. And now I shall smack you. Get smacked. Get smacked. Get smacked. No. Double darn. How could I go from, like, kicking his ass to him kicking my ass? Stop a dime. Let's see. Good steak. 
Yeah, that was probably a waste of the sheared stick, but oh well. Don't you trample me. No. There we go. I shall slaughter you for arrows. No. That was close. I think Link is an adre adrenaline junkie. He only activates his, like, super speed view thing from almost getting hit by enemies. He needs to be as close to death as possible. Else it's just not good enough. Let's see. I shall sickle you. Sickle you to death, I will. Get out of here. And now I shall... Luckily, I did a lot of cooking. And the cooking was good. Now die and give me your shit. I got Lionel Guts. And a lot of shock arrows. That is a very big shield and I definitely want it. And a Lionel Bow that goes through your arrows like crazy, I can only presume. There we go. Lionel defeated. And we'll just pick up any other random shock arrows that we can. I'm going to save just in case. That was the closest thing to a boss battle we've had yet. Even the Guardian wasn't that hard. Mostly because I kind of... Uh, I guess I technically cheesed the Guardian a bit. I took off its legs so it couldn't attack as well. It still blasted me, but overall the Lionel did more damage to me. The real question though, I wonder is why was the Lionel just hanging out here shooting shock arrows all over the place? Jump at your own risk. But now that that's that, I'm going to head to Toto Lake and see if the helmet's there. And then we'll probably then teleport back to Zora's Domain because climbing my way back from Toto Lake would be a Toto pain. Because it's a four-lettered word lake. That's presumably north of the dam. <laughs> Wrong thing. Place that. And it is ruins. There are ruins at that lake. So off we go. I'm going to get that helmet. That helmet was for, for me and was placed there to honor me. It'll be mine once more. It'll be mine once more. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Doesn't see nothing. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. But there's enemies here now. Sneaky, sneaky, how dare you? Quit dodging and weaving. That's illegal. I'm just... <laughs> the horrible... I'm gonna fall to my death. But the horrible range of my little sickle was almost the end of me. 
I'll just blow you up since my bombs seem to do a decent amount of damage to you. But first, let me, uh... There we go. I don't even need to cycle my bombs anymore. They recharge so fast. Ah, you're getting smart. You're trying to avoid it? Yeah, you should have avoided this fight. Enemy almost threw me to my death. Knight's Claymore. Nice. Be gone. I'm here for the lake, and I guess killing birds now. They said that my helmet was placed at a four-letter lake north of the dam. And they did specifically mention ruins. Oh. Is it, uh... Yeah, you are, presumably. There you are! To me, my treasure chest! Of presumably my treasure. I kick it open. Zora Helm. Zora headgear made from dragon scales. Increases swimming speed and allows you to spin to attack underwater. Nice. I don't think I've ever gotten that before. But we did it. And now we can get rid of these markers. And I guess before we head there, we will head to Kakariko Village. See about upgrading the Zora armor. I had no idea where these Zora, like, pants are. No idea where those are. We'll head here, upgrade the... Ba -ba -ba. Upgrade the Zora armor at the Great Fairy. If we can, we might not have the materials. Then we'll go back to... Zora's Domain and take on Varuta. And I'm gonna keep my sneaky sneak on in case there are ghost rabbits. Dang it! And double dang it. Probably should have put on the fool. And double, double, dang it. How dare you double spawn when I only ever expect you to spawn once. But at least we can gather up some fairies for extra lives. But before that, fairy. Now get in my inventory. Alright, lady. Ah. Mm. Let's see what you can do. Ah, good, good. Ah. Improve the armor Mifa gave me. Mm. So I can be ultimate swim man. Yeah, we, we've been through this. I already know. Stop telling me. And ah. increase this as well. Mm. <sighs> that way, in case we need to do swimming, I also have a decent amount of armor. Goodbye, you psychopath.
And I guess before we head back... First, I'll go to town and cook up more, like, uh, food, both for potential selling and for, like, boss fighting. We'll make our way down to the cooking pot and make ourselves up some hearty radish stuff. We made this. How good would it be? Fifteen. That is my, if I get hurt, throw that into boss fight dumb. What about, like, a bit of meat? Make lots of meat. These way, if it is for both selling and potential. Oh God, I'm getting my ice, my ass beat by demons. I need emergency health type thing. Ah, uh, these are probably the ones good for selling because they only recover or like give me a little bit of bonus health compared to the big ones but they still go for a lot. Then again, it also depends. Maybe you're selling a bunch of... Like, the 15-plus heart one goes for, like, a thousand rupees. That would be hilarious. I doubt it would. God, I wish it would. It's just that these are, like, very good for combat and very good for selling. Got anything to say? Uh, there must have been a lot of time when people use... Been a time when lots of people use that gate. The world sure is fickle, isn't it? So I guess kind of like, uh, have to find him at different places. At different places, he'll tell me different diddly dees. Ah. I want to sell. <laughs> I mostly want to see... Yeah, let's see, 60, 170, huh, for 15, my 15 plus doesn't really sell for all that much. All these, like, threes sell for 120, five for 140. <laughs> you have no appreciation. Mm -hmm. I never did ask her about the Clary co Collection. What is it? The Clary Collection is in a high-end collection curated by me, Clary, but of course... I've personally selected each and every item in here using my flawless fashion sense. It's all highly recommended. Each item has its own unique features and abilities, so take a good look. I know that there's somebody in this town that needs a bunch of fireflies. But I don't know where they are. Where are you, firefly person that needs them? Any quests in here? Guess not. Then we shall just teleport away to Zora's Dome. And we're gonna throw down against Varuta. And see if we can make our way through Varuta as well. Ooh, that's the thing I was going to test. That tooltip really helped me. I can use the line elbow to shoot as many... <laughs> it said, curiously, it only uses one. I have over double of what I was required of. And I'm perfectly capable of heading out and taking down Varuta. I 
Hello, small child. It's time for bed. I'll see you later. Good child. Going to bed at 8 p.m. It's probably healthy for you. Meanwhile, I go to sleep at like 1 o'clock because I'm terrible with time. Now there, Sagan. You link! Though I lack the shock arrows needed for the job, I am on my way to take on the divine beast Varuta all by myself. Do not try to stop me, Link. Link, it's too dangerous. Ah, what did you say? I second used to strike fear into the hearts of demons just by setting foot onto the battlefield. Stopping the divine beast Varuta will be simpler than taking a fish from a baby. No trouble at all, I say. Still, according to my fortune today, I should be cautious of injury. In light of that, I think it would be best for me to call it a day. Good job. And by the time uh, it is the next day, I will have defeated it for you. So you do not need to worry, you small little baby boy. Come to me and die. You better fear me. Like you, you should fear me. But you do not, and that is why you are dead. You fool! And you only gave me one meat? What were you, a vegan hog? Were you not devouring the entire forest for your entire life until I slayed you with a bomb? I wonder if there's different hunting techniques that like if you kill them with a headshot with a bow, cleanly you get more meat or something or if destroying him with a bomb is just as effective well, let's say i have one two three four five six seven eight i think ten hearts should be a decent thing hmm a bed hmm i can use it probably not a so soft one. Oh, is there a chest it's a chest what's inside the chest that is a good shield, give. Give it to me right now. Night shield. Hmm. We're right here, so we shouldn't, like, I will get rid of this traveler's sword once we go back to Hatino village. Prince Sidon. I've come to assassinate you. But no. I'm here to slay our foe. Glad to see you're ready to go, Link. <laughs> the, the twinkle's always nice. Are you ready for this? Do you have your Zora armor and enough shock arrows? I'm ready. <laughs> Wonderful! You never cease to amaze, Link. Now then, let us go and appease that divine beast at once. Here we go! Gaze now upon the divine beast's back. Do you see those glowing pink orbs? You will need to shoot each one with a shock arrow. With your Zora armor, you will now have the ability to ascend waterfalls. So I shall take you right up to the side of the Divine Beast, and from there, you can swim up and take aim! I know you can do it. I believe in you! Now hurry up and get on my back! Are you sure? Hmm. What are you talking about? We can do this, let's get going! Okay, here we go! I am unstoppable in the water! Ruta is responding to our presence. I'll move away and wait for an opening before we approach. I'll keep going at full speed. It's up to you to ward off Ruta's attacks. Are you ready? Divine Beast Faru to undoubtedly use its ancient mysterious powers against us. That includes hurting giant ice blocks that we need to watch out for. I shall leave those to you. Oh, 
probably shouldn't be using this against the ice blocks. Here you go. Let's go! Oh, that's very not good. I wasn't holding up. How dare you? Ah, I was trying to go for a full play. Getting closer, eh? I'll try to go for another double. Cycle. Wow, that was astounding! An absolute thrill! Didn't even need to go around four times. Two for two sides. Link, look! The water spouting from Ruta has slowed down. Ruta's floating higher now. You want to venture inside, right? I'll bring you closer! We're counting on you, hero! Do good work in there! Well, Link, here we are. Looks like this is where the real work starts. Gotta put Best of Varuta down nice for job good. cutting off the water flow from this divine beast. With speedrun strats. Probably not actually speedrun strats, but I'm going to call them speedrun strats because they were cool. Show the enemy no fear. I'll see you back at Zor's domain. Farewell. Farewell. I shall conquer this elephant. Finish the fight. Climbing tip. Ah. I'll need to keep that in mind to kick off the wall. Give me access to this ha this haunted beast. Travel gate registered to map. So now I can teleport here whenever. You're here. Mepha. I must say that I am so happy to see that this day has finally arrived. Now, Ruta can be freed of Ganon's control. And what of you? You'll need a map to prevent you from getting lost. Then show me the way, my dear Mipha. I will get that map. And we will conquer the, the elephant. Stone there contains the information that you will need. First things first. Out of the way, beastie. No. <laughs> Killed in one. Hmm. Is that are you an eyeball? Figured. Give me this chest. And then we'll open up the guidance stone. I'll take that.
Thank you for the guidance, Mipha. Now let's download the schematics of this this elephant. Sheikah Slate authenticated distilling map of Divine Beast. Then we can 3D print it ourselves. Make our own Divine Beast. And we can move the trunk, apparently. Divine Beast controls have been enabled. Good. You've obtained the map of the Divine Beast. You will see several glowing points on your map which represent the terminals that control Ruta. Take Ruta back by activating all of the terminals. I will do my best. Be careful. to wander around this place. I guess this is one of those terminals. I was just looking at a thing that I could move. And it was you. Activate, I guess. Sheikah Slate authenticated. Remaining. Don't give up. Uh, is Blood Moon activating while I'm in Faruta? I think that's what the creepy music is saying. Or maybe it's just because I'm in a cursed area. But the music is unsettling. Well, it's already after midnight, so... Get out of here. Let's see, anything that I'm willing to trade a guardian sword? Get out of here. Guardian sword. Because I think that, uh... I can't get to you. Oh yeah, because uh, we'll need to probably play with Varuta's water levels to get to that one. I'm just going to wander around a bit and get some information. I believe it changes for each terminal you activate. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. I don't think I knew that. Well, that's horrifying. The fact that it can create a skull on command. Horrifying. And yeah, we definitely need to, like, move that around by... ...getting it in. I think before anything, I'm going to try and get that treasure chest. Almost, damn it! Because I don't think I can... No, nope, can't do that, but I can do you. Interesting. This treasure chest. Ooh, nice. Good, good. There's also a cool secret hidden within the music that I'll tell you after you complete this. Ooh. I do like musical secrets, even though I usually uh, never discover them. Well, let's see what happens if I move it like that. I have to 
because I'm fairly certain that it's still shooting water. I just have to... And then there's also, yeah, a... power thingy. Oh, there we go. Guess I'll head to the top and we'll deal with you a bit later. I think there's some, like, treasure on the wheel in general. But, uh, we'll get up to the top here. I think there's also, like, slight parkouring we can do, but I'm not sure if that was, uh, if that's, like, intentional. First, we'll get the treasure chest. Don't want to fall down. Ancient core, hell yeah. I think that's good for uh, leveling up my Kronos. Creepy frickin' music. I'll try to do it as late as possible. Like there! Activate! Sheikah Slate, authenticated. Remaining. You can do it. Really, for me, I think it'll be figuring out the, like, uh, then I guess, what happens if we do it like that? Ah, uh, it's just turning it the other way now. What if I went all the way? Would it start hitting you? No, the answer is no. It's definitely a lot of playing around with the positions. Oh, ah, I think I know what to do here. We need to freeze that ass once it gets to a certain point. But when specifically, I don't know when it's like capable of being activated. Guess I'll go ahead and just do you bit by bit. Oh darn it, not not enough. On the right track, but I need to actually line it up because it actually kind of drains a little bit. Ba, 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 ba. And then I think good. I think I did it at the same spot! I did it at the same spot, Bilbo! At the same diddly damn spot. So it actually goes down really fast, so don't need to overcomplicate it. So like that. Booyah. Sheikah Slate authenticated. Two terminals remaining. You're nearly there. Yep, one that's on the trunk. I think I need to, like, quench that fire. Potentially. Mm. 
These things suck for me because I misread somewhere that for 100% you needed to get all the chests hidden in them. Hmm. I mean, while I don't think I am, like, that crazy for 100%ing, like, if I see a chest, I'll try to go for it. Okay, to get up there, I need to... Send it a go. I shall wait for the... There we go. What was that noise? Oh. Take that. Get out of here. And then that fills up down there. I wonder if I need to permanently place something. Nope, it's a... Ah, and because it's a waterfall, I can get back. Huh, interesting. We can climb. Climb, climb, climb. So that's a reset back here. The creepy music is very unnerving. I basically made a waterfall door. I'm gonna go for this treasure chest, cause why not? Give me that chest. I guess let's go crazy and see what happens. Protect me, chest! Let's see if we can make it! I'm curious. Can we get the water to go down this hole? Alright, one up. Probably a little... Nope. Then the core answer is... Maybe use my position to go down there and activate the final... Or like the final... Activate the one that's on the trunk. And then I could try the same diddly D to get back up here. I do move a lot, so yeah. It even kind of looks like a landing pad.
gotta go top down to slowly make our way down, presumably. Carefully. Booyah! Didn't even magically fall. Oh, uh. Go ahead and smack you. He'll probably free that treasure chest, I presume. Good, good. We'll activate you, grab that chest, then go down the hole in the head. Just one terminal remaining. I have faith in you. I believe in the Mipho that believes in me. I wonder how many, like, what if fanfics there are, like, instead of Link being put in the rejuvenation chamber if it was like Ravali or Obosa or Mifa. I don't think like Daruk would uh, I don't think Daruk would have uh, fit in the rejuvenation chamber. Don't think Daruk would have fit in the pod. The real question is, why was that there? We need fire to stop people from activating the terminals. Then again, who knows? Maybe that could have been magic. Uh. Ganon magic. I shall save. Since this is the final terminal. Boss fight about to begin. Chica Slate authenticated. all the terminals. Now you can start the main control unit. And fight there Ganon. A new glowing mark on your map. Head there. You know what would be, like, depressing? Like, if instead of this actually being the spirit of your friend or, like, ally from all that long ago telling you how to go through, if it was, like, the phantom Ganon manipulating you, that would be horrible. But I presume to my question of, I wonder how many fanfics of uh, what if other champion was put in the rejuvenation chamber. <laughs> YouTube chat responded with probably like 50. At this point, probably hundreds. Be careful not to let your guard down. <laughs> good luck. Hopefully. I shall take that good luck. Fuck! Chest! Damn it! Pain. But luckily it should be able to uh, quickly head back there. I want that chest. <laughs> I see that chest. Uh, just easily could have gotten it. But I'm a fool. Oh, I also could have uh, just uh, super sped to this. Catch me, Varuta. Take me to your skull. All I had to do was not jump. Nope. My chest. It's something that I probably don't even really care for. Well, actually... It is three better than this Guardian Spear. See anything else? Well, goodbye, Guardian Spear. Knight's Halberd. 
to the main control unit we go, and I'll have to make another save because I went uh, to grab this. And onwards we go. I'm ready to fight you. Um, I probably think that's the proper thing. We will take control of the elephant back. Yeah, probably should have expected this. Well, that's disturbing. It's like Ganon taking over like the Sheikah technology. Scourge of Divine Beast Baruta. What a blight, Ganon. How? As much of a fight as I could, but it proved to be my demise 100 years ago. Now the slight dark uh, thought of like Mifa's body is in here somewhere. I, have in I do have a decent amount of health bars. Oh, and we just immediately went in. Uh, water blight, huh? Oh, uh, we had the same idea. Uh, stop. Ow. Get out of here. This is my parking lot. Get smacked, idiot. What? Half- oh, halfway. Oh. Not indeed. Attack. Get smacked. Get smacked. Damn it. Got knocked up. You want to show your ugly ass? Oh. Just spam. Just use the Lionel power. Die. Where are you gonna go? Don't have to tell me twice, my lady. Mifa, I avenge you! Suffer in silence. What a blight! Yeesh! Those screams! Blighted no more. Varuta is purged. Oh, and I get a health thingy. Nice. Well then. The Lionel was scarier than Water Blight. <laughs> Just to quickly read chat. The fact there isn't much merch of the beast is a sin, because I'd love figures of them or something. They are really cool. It's kind of sad, kind of a missed opportunity. 
It could be a possibility. Notice Water Blight's weapon. Same type Mifa used. Uh, that's dark. It's almost like it took her weapon after killing her. Booyah. One away from ten, I believe. Let's do one final thing. Activate Varuta. Once you activate the main control unit, you will not be able to re-enter the interior of this divine beast. I think I got, like, all the chests that I wanted, that I, like, saw. So I don't think there's much else for me here anyway. Activate! Because of your courage, my spirit is now free. And Ruta as well. Thank you. For I am now Still sad. this freedom to be with you once again. Mifa, the Zora champion. Since I am now a spirit, my healing power would be wasted on you. I have no need of it. So therefore, I would like you to have it. Please accept Mifa's grace. I shall take your gift. Yesterday, I was awash in a pool of tears. I had nearly given up hope and resigned myself to being trapped here as a spirit for the rest of eternity. But now you're here. All this time my hope was to see you once more. Promise me that you will not hesitate to call upon my power if you ever find yourself in need. Knowing that will let my spirit rest in peace. I must go. Ruta and I have our roles to fulfill. We are both honored to be able to play the role of support. We'll annihilate Ganon together. Farewell. Save her, Link. Save the princess. Save Princess Zelda. Still sad. Also, how did I turn into a sparkling... A sparkling spark and fly away. Is it true that I am actually alive, rejuvenated, or am I just a very solid spirit? But now Varuta is on our side. is apparently going submarine mode. I think I have that shrine marked. Rise, Varuta! And target our foe! Of calamity, Ganon. Weren't expecting this, were you, Ganny? The sniper is ready to destroy. Or are we just gonna fire right now? Ruta, we found a way to be useful to Link and the other champions, of course. But well, we've yet to find the other champions. Our job will be to help Link as he fights Ganon inside the castle, however we can. Using your ability to drain Ganon of his power is key to our success. This is it. 
This will be our last chance, and everyone's last hope. If we seal him away, then we can restore peace to Highview. At least before the next game. And both your duty and mine will be fulfilled. Father, are you well, I wonder? I want you to know I have always followed my heart. I'm sorry I made you worry. I wish I could see you again. I'm not but like I'm King Rom. I can't leave <laughs> this place. It would be funny if the spirits of the champions could move around. We could probably undercut some of the drama, but... The potential of character interactions. Surprise! It's me, Sparkles! Mipha's Grace, a restorative power born from the spirit of the champion Mipha. When your hearts run out, you'll automatically be resurrected with full health plus temporary bonus hearts. So turning back to the music thing I mentioned earlier, after I think the fourth terminal, the music has quiet beeps, which in Morse code spells SOS. Huh, that's neat. Still have no clue if the Divine Beasts are sentient or not. In this world, honestly, who knows? Good day. The sky's clear for the first time in a bit. I would like to celebrate by taking my daughter on a trip, but I cannot afford to leave my post. By the way, Master Link, are you going to fight Calamity Ganon again? Again? Mm -hmm. I mean, Master Link, you and Lady Mifa fought Calamity Ganon a hundred years ago, don't you recall? Master Link, you really don't remember anything, do you? Ah. Okay, in that case, ask me anything you want to. <laughs> Trello? <laughs> Trello is my father. Since retiring, he has been in charge of the Champion Festival. It is he who now bears the ceremonial trident. But Master Link, you really should not speak with any of the elderly here, including my father. As for me, well, I just do not believe you are guilty of anything. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? Mifa? Ah. Lady Mifa is the princess of the Zora, and Prince Sidon's elder sister. She is also the Zora champion. That means she was able to command the divine beast of Aruta. Hmm. But unfortunately, Lady Mifa was, well, a uh, hundred years ago. Calamity Ganon. I should not be the one telling you this, sorry. Please ask King Dorfin. Oh, if it isn't the Hylian! Oh. You listen to what King Dorfin had to say. Yes, so that is the cause of our suffering in Zor's domain. It's all because of that beast, Ruta. Yeah. That's why my senior apprentice, Fronk, and I are repairing the domain. However, our materials are a bit depleted. Oh. Yes, repairs require a large number of luminous stones. We can find plenty of them in Upland Zorana. Have you by chance already stumbled across some luminous stones during your travels? <laughs> For instance, if you have ten of them, that would be a big help. Okay, I need to find them. I know where some of them are, I think. also need to talk to, like, the one lady. Alright, I need to talk to Trello to try and get the Oi! various diddly dees. We must talk to all the elderly, because I did the thing. I forget what voice I gave you. The rain stopped. I wonder if Prince Sidon was able to stop Ruta. Huh? Well, what could the man who stole our Lady Mifa away possibly say? Trident? That's not your business! Because I have to go and, like, talk to. Ba ba ba. Dolphin to maybe activate that. Good day. Do you need something? <laughs> Prince Sidon. His shiny, glorious fangs and smooth, shimmering skin. Just imagine Prince Sidon's fine form. I just... Uh. <laughs> Pack of geezers. The Zora elders intend to, for our people to stop Rudo without any outside help. Even though touching shockers for an extended period of time is impossible for us. Prince Sidon, on the other hand, had the idea we could ask an outsider to shoot the shock arrows for us. That's our Prince Sidon for you. He has such bold ideas. Speaking of which, the bad weather seems to have calmed down a bit lately. Is it possible that Prince, uh, Prince Sidon finally appeased Ruda? Oh, wait, there was another question that popped up. Uh, Ruta, 
Baruta, I mean Divine Beast Baruta in East Reservoir Lake. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, the bad weather seems to have calmed down a bit. Yep. I got that picture. I hope it's to your liking. Hi. Hello. Link, how's the Lionel mission coming along? I have your picture. Oh, wow. Please show me. <coughs> wow. <laughs> My apologies. That sound was not very dignified, was it? P pardon me. I'm all better now. That Lionel. How terrifying. Oh. One look at this, and I doubt anyone would be reckless, get any reckless ideas about visiting Pol Polymus Mountain. Thank you. I'll tell the children of the domain about this. Maybe that'll scare them away from the mountain. All right, now for your reward. I have the full greaves. Ah. These Zora greaves were once made by a skilled craftsman by order of an ancient Zora king. Now they're fairly common. As you may know, East Reservoir Lake was created in collaboration between Hylians and Zora. After East Reservoir Lake was finished, we made Zora greaves as a token of friendship for Hylians who came to visit. Ah. But over time, the number of Hylians visiting the domain dwindled, and my father had to close his armor shop. These Zora Greaves here were the last pair left in the stock room when he closed up shop. Wearing these, even a Hylian can swim as well as a Zora. That said, these would be wasted on me. They're only useful for a Hylian like you. <laughs> Please take good care of them. Yay! Precisely what I wanted. Now I have a full armor set. Hello, Dolphin. I did it. I kicked ass. And shed tears. Link, you did well to survive your trial. I have been awaiting your return. The violent downpour has disappeared, as has the threat to Zora's domain. It is all little more than a bad dream now. Thanks to your efforts, there is no longer any danger of a great flood laying waste to Hyrule. You appeased the divine beast Varuta and thusly saved Zora's domain. <laughs> We are all truly grateful. What you did for us is more than we could have ever expected of you. Link, I must sincerely apologize for my harsh treatment of you. That all time you were thinking of high rules and Lady Mifa's well-being, just like the rest of us. All of the members of our council humbly fold our fins back in gratitude, along with the rest of our people. Perhaps the older generation of Zora, myself included, misunderstood Hylians after all. It would appear so. That said, I would be overjoyed if you could find it in your heart to forgive me. If not now, then perhaps one day. <laughs> Link, I must reward your efforts. Now then, I implore you to collect the treasure inside that chest over there. It was cherished by Mipha, a memento of sorts. I would like you to have it as a token of our friendship. Please take good care of it. Mm. By the way, Link, I see you are without your trusty blade, the sword that seals the darkness. Mm -hmm. Did you perhaps lose it when you lost your memory? Perhaps. What? It is truly lost? That is a legendary blade that only you, the Hylian champion, can wield. It is no doubt resting somewhere in Hyrule even now waiting for its master to return. <laughs> Link all of the Zora thank you from the depths of our hearts for your heroic and selfless work. Mm. And you too, Sidon. Yeah. As your father, I am proud of you for fighting the Divine Beast alongside Link. You have grown much recently. I know you will be a worthy heir when the time comes. Father, I thank you. The heavy rains have stopped, and the Divine Beast is our ally once again. <laughs> How glorious, truly splendid. <laughs> Link, this is wonderful. Link, thank you so much. Truly, I could never thank you enough. You helped save our home from vanishing away. This calls for a top-tier expression of gratitude. <laughs> zo, zo, ra, ra, ra. With all my heart, thank you.
and there was much cheering in Zora's domain. Because I don't have any weapon slots. Because I think this is the light scale trident. A spear of peerless grace, cherished by the Zora champion Mitha. Although Mitha specialized in healing abilities, her spearmanship was in a class all its own. Oh! I guess I did have spot. Nice. <laughs> From YouTube chat. He's proposing! Uh, doesn't he get, like, a girlfriend in the next game? I forget. Link, I must thank you. You somehow overcame the objections of the old geezers on our council, all to help save our home. Yes, you are a treasure of a Hylian. Take time out of your journey to come to our reign and monster-ridden home. And here you activated those orbs of shock arrows, freed Ruta, and released my sister from her lingering regret. <laughs> Link, I simply can't thank you enough. Especially for following me to the end, and pushy and unreasonable as I am. Zora's domain would still be in peril if not for you. You are welcome any time, and we are ever at your service. <laughs> Have I mentioned how incredible you are and how thankful I am? <laughs> because you are, and I am. Yes, you are the greatest of Hylians, and my most treasured friend for all time. Oh my god, they were treasured friends. Wait, I definitely see why people totally sh <laughs> shipped them. I knew you were the same Link from a hundred years ago. You did a fine job this time. May Lady Mifa's spirit live on within all of us. I must prepare for the Champion Festival. I do not have time to talk. Where did I drop it? Uh, you dropped it around Zora's domain, did you? I'll have to go find it. I guess we'll talk to this guy and think about, like, hey, just do dive. Uh, hey, it's you! It is my observation that a person's true colors shine the brightest when they dive freely into the waves. <laughs> Congratulations on the new Zora armor. It is most impressive indeed. Wearing the Zora armor, even a Hylian like you can climb a waterfall and get back up here in no time at all. Uh. That said, if you don't mind me asking, would you please show me your true colors as you dive into the water? You can dive headfirst from here into the water below. If you could be a true beauty made flesh, please consider. Oh. Blinding brightness! Radiant beauty! Oh. <clears throat> okay, now climb the waterfall and then meet me back here. But first I have to kind of look around just to make sure there's no... Like, special things. Sidon's just a bicon. He is indeed the icon of the buys. Yep. Hell yeah! Because he said he dropped it. Oh. Yes. Come to me. Damn it. Mine. How those fire arrows survive down there? Now that just makes no sense. Wait a minute. That looks a bit odd. What's over there? Well, it's just a lantern, probably, but why is there a lantern over there? Well, we can always just come back down here. First, I'll go back up the waterfall, as the guy requested. And then we'll search for the presumable bubble ball. Fantastic! Can you feel that? My soul is on fire! It's pulsating with beauty! You showed me something truly special. Thank you so much! Now then, come over here real quick. You're the one that stopped me in the air, my good boy. <laughs> That was amazing! I saw you dive in waterfall climb of my own lucky eyes! And those those very eyes are flooded with tears of joy! Yes, I must thank you somehow. 
Not bad. Ah. Oh, I feel emotionally ravaged after that. It's not every day I get to see a diving form as beautiful as yours, you know. Oh. I'll be looking forward to your next dive. I really will. Speaking of a bi icon, then again, maybe he's just gay. Well, then again, he's <laughs> he's not gay. He's just like, what's the word? He's like, oh. dive form sexual. Hmm. <laughs> Hylian, do you think you were able to appease Ruda? You turned out to be a... Uh, to think you were able to appease Ruda. You turned out to be a pretty incredible guy. In fact, I wonder if you can do this, too. <laughs> Exterminate the Hinox by Rallis Pond. Surely. <laughs> okay, in that case, give it a try. For he who saved the domain, this should be a piece of fish cake. Go on, I'm counting on you. The Giant by Rallis Pond. Rallis Pond, so it should be... I shall mark. Can always destroy that at some point. <laughs> Unfortunately, I must go now. Have a good rest of the stream. Thank you for joining me as this far. And hope that whatever it is you need to do goes well. Link, it seems that I was wrong about you. Seeing the Vine Beast Varut has formed there. Even though I, we lost Lady Nifa, it seems she can still help you fight against Calamity Ganon. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not introduce myself sooner. I am Giotto. Giotto. I'm a historian who studies Zora history and preserves it for future generations. Uh. Even so, this stone monument that King Dorfin supposedly wrote, it's torn to pieces now. Most likely, the ten mon stone monuments outside of the domain are in the same awful condition. Uh. I'm thinking about collecting the contents of all the stone monuments and compiling them into a book. Mm. But with all these old legs and fins traveling to all the ten stone monuments will take a great deal of time. Oh. That is why, Link, I'd like to ask a favor of you. Oh. I'd like you to find all the ten stone monuments around Zora's domain and tell me what they say. Okay. Ah. Oh, thank you. You truly are a lifesaver. How reassuring that the champion will search for those monuments for me. Ah. I have it on good authority that among the stone monuments, one has the location of some treasure written on it. If you happen to find the treasure, feel free to keep it. It will most likely be something that Azora wouldn't need. Yes, so find the ten stone monuments around Zora's domain. I believe in you. In fact, I'm counting on you. I wonder if uh, it counts the ones I already did. Nope, doesn't look like it. But I wonder where the, like, ceremonial trident is. Because I presume he dropped it down here somewhere. Let me see. Where'd that chest go? I know there's a chest right there. Ha <laughs> ha. I uh, probably need to make a pit stop over here. Ah, oh, there you are. Come over. Be gone. Silver scale spear. The most skilled Zora fighters wield this spear. Its beautiful fishtail design belays its impressive strength. The spearhead can pierce even the toughest scales. Well, I guess we'll just climb the waterfall. Talk to everybody spear related. Is that actually a treasure chest up here? Who put treasure chest at the top of Zora's domain? Would be hilarious if it was like a note from a kid, Sidon, or Mipha. <laughs> Just a normal Zora spear. This place is flooded with spears. Trello went. Oh, hey, an adventurer. Hi. 
Good evening. Huh? You're that guy from last time. The rain stopped. That's why I was finally able to reach Zora's domain. Now I'm going to stock up on rare goods at the general store here. Don't get in my way, understand? Weirdo. Good evening. Do you need something? What are you doing? Spear practice. Yeah! But I can't even jump high enough to reach the Lady Mipha's pedestal. Ah, that pedestal. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. Was there a pedestal at Veiled Falls? I want to be able to jump high enough to pierce that pedestal. Veiled Falls. Mark. Hey! I wonder if that's just like... What about you? la dee do Your trial awaits. It's glowing bright. Oh, you're the Hylian who helped our, helped our Prince Sidon. You're so handsome. Your looks still don't compare to Prince Sidon, of course. <laughs> but you're not half bad. In fact, I wouldn't mind talking with you for a bit, hee <laughs> hee. Hmm. That song? I just love singing. I even remember the song from the Champion Festival. Do you want to hear it? I want to hear it. Okay, I'm going to sing it now. The Champion Festival song. A gift from the sky, a scale of light, splits the feet, a veil falls a sight. Your trial awaits, it's glowing bright. I don't really get what the song's about, but I'm going to sing it at the next Champion Festival. Mr. Trello is supposed to get the festival together, but he hasn't done anything for it yet. I wonder what's wrong with him. Did he forget that's his job? Ooh, it's a shrine quest, too. Now we just need to find Trello. And he's marching around somewhere. Trello, you bastard! Get over here, I have your spear, you dumbass! Ah, he's over here. Trello, you motherfucker, where's my money? Oh, you know, you're Fronk. Uh, you had, like, that hunched over thing. They say Root has calmed down, and yet... Ah, it's you, Link. I'm sorry, I was talking to myself. What's wrong? Uh... The truth is, my wife May left and hasn't come back yet. After the Divine Beast of Aruta started rampaging, she went out to go fishing like everything was normal. And now Ruta has settled down, but she still hasn't returned. Mm. I'm afraid the worst has happened. If only I'd stopped her from leaving. What do I do? I'll find her. Uh. Link, you saved Zora's domain, and now you're going to help me find my Mei as well. Mm. You, are, you are a true champion. I'm sorry to put this burden on you, but please, please bring her home. Still need to find Trello. Trello, you old fuck. Where are you? Are you up here, maybe? Trello, you asshole. Where did you disappear to? Your gizzards will be mine. Zora Sword. Oh, Link! You would see my misunderstood Hylians before. You don't have any fins or gills. You still managed to stop the Divine Beast. I should have expected as much from Lady Mipha's beloved. Well done. Ah. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive an incompetent fool such as me. Well, there's an old geezer. Oh, I knew you were the same, Link. You did a fine job. You know, like, uh, now then, I must devise a plan to find the ceremonial trident. Mm. The ceremonial trident is used in a festival to honor Champion Mipha. The Champion Festival's light-scale trident, well, it's a fake. I plan to have the ceremonial trident examined by Dinto, but on the way there, I dropped it off the bridge. Oh. It doesn't really matter. It's a fake, after all. I'll have to ask Dinto to make a new one. If someone happens to pick it up, they can just keep it. <laughs> Trillo accidentally dropped the ceremonial trident. If I spear and recreate the actions from the song, a new trial may appear. Ooh, that's what that is. It also means that I can recreate the spear probably infinitely because it's fake. 
But I'm going to go talk to the spear guy, because he said if I bring him the light scale trident. Basically, he's like, well, do you have the light scale trident? No? Then fuck off. Bye. What about you, Riga? Riaga? Oh, nice weather today, isn't it? Oh. If you're free, would you like to chat? Where are you from? Mm, I'm from Goron City. It's near Death Mountain. Mm. It's super hot there, unlike here. Mm. Is there something else? Death Mountain? Oh. What? You don't know about Death Mountain? On a sunny day, you can see the volcano from anywhere in Hyrule. Ah. Us Gorons eat rocks, you know, so it's really comfortable for us to live around Death Mountain. Oh. Is there something else? You eat rocks? Oh. That's right. They're the best. Oh. Rocks are great, but the ones called gems, you know, the sparkly ones, those taste terrible. Mm. Nothing to do with those but sell them or use them as crafting materials in the old workshop. Mm. Mm. Neat. <laughs> so I have heard. Hylian Champion Link. Now Lady Mipha's spirit can finally rest in peace. As the champion, you should be able to use both the light scale trident and the ceremonial trident. If you break either one, please let me know so I can remake it for you. Neat. You probably need, like, resources to do that, but hey. Well, I'm going to go to Veiled Falls, I guess. And open up that trial. And get, like, uh... One more... Heart diddly D, probably. For 10. Because I think 10 is a good number. Not sure if, like. What's the word? If, like, uh, I need more for the Master Sword or not, but. Hmm. Like, I don't know. I think 10 is a good number. We should be able to get to Veiled from here. And then we could also go down there and try to beat it up with our mining stick. Because we need the silver scale trident to diddly do the thing. Which is, a gift from the sky, a scale of light, splits the feet of failed fall sight. Your trial awaits its growing bright. It's you. Still, I wonder. Where I drop that ceremonial trident? Well, what do you want? Ceremonial trident? Replica of the light scale trident. It's used at champion festival. At first, the metal used, same as that of the light scale trident. And the ceremonial trident was dropped under the bridge. Well, it's a fake, so it doesn't matter. He doesn't even know that I had it in my hands. The fool. I should probably do a save, just in case. And now let's make our way over to Veiled Falls. Wearing our awesome outfit. I still kind of wish, like, there were more official Zelda things that, like, transformed Link. Because, like, Majora's Mask is awesome. Twilight Princess is awesome. And I think it would be cool if, like, uh, we saw what, like, a Rito Link would look like. Or even, like, a Zoro Link that's like this. Let's see the song. Gift from the sky, scale of light, splits the feet. So I probably have to... Like, throw it from the top down? I don't think I can. So I think I just need to, like, drop it on there. Maybe if I just go and drop it, it'll activate? Probably not. Hmm. So maybe I do need to land it from the top. 
So it splits the feet of Veiled Falls. A gift from the sky, a scale of light, splits the feet of Veiled Falls' sight. So yeah, probably... Dang it. So maybe I just need to do it from the top and not jump. Or maybe I need to use the light scale. So drop ceremonial trident used in the ceremonial bridge. If you use this bit, might going to recreate the action of the song. And it's probably up here. So yeah, it's the ceremonial one. need to throw it from that rock. It seems to be well placed. And somehow this has not damaged this thing at all. Darn, I missed. I have to actually look up how this one functions, because I have an idea. Darn. Hit the water instead of the pedestal. Up a bit. Overshot! This seems all highly specific when you could just work. Again, it's gift from the sky, a scale of light, the light scale ceremonial trident, splits the feet of a veiled falls sight. Nope, not that easy. So I'm just going to look it up because unless they literally do want you to like, I don't know. Just seems weird. To a different de degree. Because, like, a gift from the sky, a scale of light. And then the second part is if you find the ceremonial spear and then recreate the song, it should work. But I don't know exactly what it requires. Ah, okay. I just misunderstood it. I have to use the attack animation like... Because that's what the kid said. Split the pedestal. Is what the kid said, I do believe. What? Hmm. Internet guide, are you failing me? Descend right above the pedestal, close to the ground, with the trident equipped, hit the attack button. Hmm. I shall punish myself by eating dubious foods. So maybe I need to just, like, not let go of the paraglider until we get to the bottom? 
Maybe I just need to make no damage. How do I activate you? I feel like I'm following it correctly. It's a little annoying. Game? I'm following the directions. Maybe it means literally right above the pedestal? Let me check a different text guide. Because I am getting bothered. Ba ba ba. Let's see. Okay, because it's the ceremonial spear. Because the silver scale spear should be the ceremonial one, right? Or maybe they mean... Hmm. Maybe they do mean... Because this one was found... The ceremonial trident. So maybe I don't have the ceremonial trident, even though this was a trident that was in the water. Hmm. Which seems a little bit, like, annoying that they have multiple tridents down there. Don't do that game. That's bad. That's stupid. So let me double check. Drop the ceremonial off the bridge. Presumably the bridge that he is at. So it's actually probably down here. Okay. Still a bit silly that they have, like, multiple of them. But fine, diddly fine, game. Let me use Cryonis. Especially because he mentioned the dropped it in a different location first. For me. Now let's see. Okay, so there's probably the ceremonial one. There shouldn't be this many dropped spears. They'll pollute the entire, entire place. I wonder if I could do it with the actual trident. Well, since you're not real, get out of here. Modeled after the light scale trident wielded by the Zora champion Mipha. They may be identical appearance, but the spear strength and durability are inferior. There we go. Me just assuming, oh, well, I found this one down there. Surely that must mean something. No, the developers decided to have a ha-ha-ha by making the Zoras into spear litterers. Just littering all of the spears into the water of their own domain. How dare they? And now I can go mock Trello and be like, why are you all losing your fucking spears in the water down there? It's you. What is that you're holding? It is most certainly the ceremonial trident. Oh, well, go ahead and keep it. Well, what do you want? <laughs> ceremonial trident? You're holding, in addition to its combat use, it has the same power as the light scale trident. Originally, the light scale trident was meant to lead a hero to a trial, at least according to the legend. I believe the Champion Festival song's lyrics mention this. If you find a child who loves songs, he or she might know it. And now we can actually go do that now. Fool what I am when they mention dropped spear in water. I thought the first spear that I'd find would be it. 
hawk, but no. The Zoras are butterfingers with all their spears, dropping them into the water below. Soon you won't even be able to swim in Zoro's domain at all. There'll just be spears all over the place. You'll die. I wonder if I can just jump and do it. Nope, have to do it from the jump. Then let us jump. How the hell were you even down that deep? That's the real question. Explosions. How dare there be a bird besmirching the shrine? You damn bird, prepare for death. I wonder if, like, us doing that is enough to be like, oh, you get the orb immediately, or if there's going to be a trial within here. That'd be kind of funny. You have gone through much to find this shrine. Now dance, bitch. Oh, Varuda was added to the, the, to the screen. That's nice. Not nah, just here. Cool. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Daga Keek. By entering this place, you've already proven your worth. That's cool. I'll glance around in the water to see if there's any hidden treasures that you're trying to keep from me, you heathen. Well, it doesn't look like it. Nice. I'm always good for money. have done well to arrive at this shrine. A hero rises to right the wrongs in Hyrule. Give me that spirit orb. Give me that spirit orb. That's cool that the divine beasts that you free are added to the to the screen. It's just very cool. Next, we'll probably go beat up that stone talus, I think. That is, yeah, just down this way. Of which... I guess I can keep the keep the hat. But change that because we need to go upgrade our pants too. Come on. You have lots of meat on you. Yes, you fool. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll go fight the stone talus and then get that one more heart, and then I think that will be it for now. We've been going for almost four hours. We beat Zora's domain's main boss. Hello there, fox. I do not kill foxes, for foxes are nice. Oh, oh, it's not a stone talus, it's a hen ox. My bad.
Let's see. You're already awake, aren't you? This one has a leg brace. So I won't be able to just do super damage to him. Get out of here. That was the first Kenox. That's not what I wanted, hey. Also, a little annoying. Nice bow. Roasted trout. For some reason, I was expecting a... a talus. A nice broadsword. At least that doesn't... That can't do damage to me. It would be kind of sad if I killed myself with the giant boomerang of doom. But yeah, now we'll go turn in this quest. Maybe even talk to the guy and say, Hey, I did that uh, whole ceremony thing. And then, next time, we'll probably venture around Zora's Domain looking for those, like, uh, stone tablets to do that quest. And then otherwise, uh, search for, like, uh, probably try to get these three areas of, uh, towers, shrines and stuff. <laughs> As well as try to find the forest so that we can try and get the Master Sword. Because it would be very handy to have. I see you, chest, but I do not care to grab you just yet. What do you do standing here? Master Link! Who would have dreamed that the one to stop the Divine Beast Varuta would be Master Link, who miraculously reappeared after a hundred years? <laughs> As Captain of the Guard, that should have been my responsibility, but shock heroes are the one thing I just can't handle. No problem, my dude. It's not your fault that you literally aren't built for it. <sighs> it's you. It looks like something is shining around Veiled Falls. Did you do something with the ceremonial trident? Oh, well. After you left, I remembered the legend. A gift from the sky, a scale of light, splits the feet of a failed Falls sight. Your trial awaits, it's glowing bright. Oh. At Veiled Falls, there's a pedestal just like the one Lady Mipha's statue rests upon. The legend indicates that you must thrust the light scale trident into the same place as the statue of Lady Mipha. We tried to do that just that not that long... Uh, we tried to do just that long ago, but nothing happened. Perhaps someone with a champion's talents might have better luck. I probably also should have taken a picture of the Hinox stamp. I killed it. Oh. Hey! Oh. Hmm, that stench. Did you perhaps defeat the Hinox by Rallis Pond? Yes. Oh. What? You really did? I just... I can't... Wow, thank you, really. Mm. I knew it. The champion who saved the domain is a whole other league. Please take this. Consider it a small token of my immense gratitude. I will take it. I guess you beat me to dealing with that Hinox. I really want to get stronger. You keep out it. You'll probably make it. This place is just so nice looking. Oh, wait a minute. The statue's up there. I'm a fool. I am a fool, I 
forgot where the damn statue was. For I am shit. I will take one more heart container. Because I think 10 is a good number. And that's also kind of why I want to head into that upper area to try and find the forest and then the Master Sword. That way, I can start trying to either... I can either get it or try to keep getting more hearts to then get the Master Sword. But... I do believe that that will be that for now. We beat Zora's Domain, freed it from all its troubles. Next time, we will look around Zora's Domain, looking for the Ten Stone Tablets of Story. And then try to head around, just do shrines and towers until something happens. Unless I feel like doing Persona 3 next time, which is entirely possible. I might try to throw in a Persona 3 stream soon, if I can get myself into a good mindset about it. Again, it's just I don't want to force myself to play it, because I want to do it justice. But at the same time, that also means not forgetting events, so maybe I need to keep, like, a Persona 3 diary. It's just a, it's a, just like a balancing act, but I'll, pr I'll tr try to handle it well. But, yes, I do believe that will be it for now. I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, with the next stream being on Wednesday. And I try to stream at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time every single of one of those days. I've been doing better at keeping to my stream schedule since I started doing Breath of the Wild, because it's a very fun time. If you want other things from me... Uh, my link tree, which can be found directly linked in descriptions, bios, and link places of the various sites, with the it being linktr.ee slash wings, has links to everything that I do, like edited YouTube content channel stuff, the streaming YouTube channel or streaming Twitch channel, depending on your preference of site. With all of these videos being uploaded, well, all these streams being uploaded as videos to YouTube for quality, in case the uh, the evils of the universe decide that the quality should die because of streaming. That's why I directly record. And then elsewhere in my link tree is links to places where I upload art like my little character in the corner. So if you like the art that I make, I try to upload it to various sites. Then I also try to write some stories that I upload to various sites if you want to read them. I need to get back to that. Writing hard. And then, of course, finally linked to my link tree is my Patreon, which is basically a big old donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy. But most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me. Bye, bye. <laughs>